Yo, I'm a gun club member. I'm gonna take these rookies downtown. Are you with me? Hey, what's your name, son? It's Luis, man. I don't think that's such a good idea. Yeah? They said catching that pass in my high school championship football game was a bad idea, because I broke my leg in 13 places, but I scored a touchdown and won the game. The world was built out of bad ideas, my friend. Come on. The PE-4 has been molded and is set to explode in 60 seconds. Now listen, people. We're your friends. Me and me brother here. Why are we... you telling them we're brothers, you idiot? That's going to make it hard for them to find us, isn't it? I'm trying to be honest with these people. We put them through a lot today. Fuck these people. Fuck your cause. That shit's over. Ireland's not the only thing that's green. Dollars are, too. Now you said bloody Ireland. That's gonna narrow the search, ain't it? Fuck you! Take the needle out your arm, then tell me what to do! I'll let you tell me what to do when you stop shoving half of Bolivia up your nose every Saturday night! Motherfucker! <laughs> fuck! We told you about the fuck with us! <laughs> Shit! Michael! <laughs> Say fucking Michael! <laughs> fucking shit! Get the money! Me and my brother watch the kids! Yeah, look at me in. Yeah, like I said, man, everything's a little fussy. Well, if you think of anything else, Mr. Lopez. Yeah, sure, sure, I'll give you a call. Thanks. Yo, what's up, Bobby? Hey, you hey, Yeah, there was a bomb at the bank. The place got robbed. Nothing to do with me, I, I swear. Um, some Irish guys. Anyway, um, listen. I'm coming over, okay? So wake up. You hear me? Wake up. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, I, I was working late at the club. Yeah, mommy, don't be like that, okay? I'll be home soon. Look, I, I gotta go. Okay. Who the fuck is it? It's me, though. Oh, whatever. Come up. How are you? I'm good, boss. How are you? Ooh, you look terrible. <laughs> That's good, because I am terrible. Fucking wretched. What's wrong? Oh, the usual. Boyfriend thinks I'm a cash machine. One nightclub catering to the rich, mindless crowd. In a city where the rich, mindless crowd is suddenly poor and mindless. Another club catering to the gay and decadent crowd, where the gay and decadent crowd suddenly think decadence means buying outrageous new throw cushions instead of getting loaded in a bar. And every half-wit, part-time hood in this city thinking, I know. Let's put the squeeze on the club owners. They must really, really want to substitute my inadequacies with their money because, after all, they want to stay up all night talking bullshit to morons because they enjoy it. it sounds pretty usual. Oh, thanks for the support. Hey, that's what I'm here for, boss. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, if the bodyguard, business partner thing doesn't work out, you should consider a career as a fucking life coach. A what? Never mind. Did you speak to Troy? Yeah, he said he loves you, but he can't handle working the door at a gay club anymore. He says people are laughing at him. Who's laughing at him? I don't know. I think the little people who live in his head. The ones stuck in 1955. <laughs> oh, I love those people. And what's up with Desi? Yeah, he says he saw you last night. Yeah, and you was holding court with that Chloe Parker until uh, 4 a.m.? I was? Apparently so. Oh, my God. 45 years old, and I get my kicks doing blow with 17-year-old kids whose only claim to fame is that people know better what their vagina looks like than their face. I should be sent to prison. Shouldn't I? Yeah, most definitely. What's this money? Did you rob your own club? 
Tony, I just went to the bank for you, man. I don't want it in the bank. Hey, Tony, the door was open. Man, it's easier to get into your apartment than into your nightclub. Yeah, we have an Oguido policy at the club. Here I ain't so sure. Oh, I love getting racially abused by a spick. Yeah, who's a fucking taco, Tony? Uh, my business partner, Luis. Gentlemen, watch your language. We're in the great melting pot. We're not spicks or guidos or fags. We're proud Americans. Luis, this is Vince and Rocco, relatives of Gracie. And credit is to you. And guess what? We ain't here about Gracie. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> That's a start. I guess we don't have to beat you two lovers up. <laughs> yeah, good luck. See you later. Oh, nice to meet you, muscles. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> fuck, there goes payroll. Who the fuck were those two assholes, T? <laughs> Fine men of the cloth. Who the fuck do you think they are? Ancelotti goons I borrowed money from way back. Uh, never mind. Amateurs. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's go. We need to go to Hercules. Career. And, and don't forget to tell them about the tax stickers. And Give it up, Tom. Where'd the cash come from? Don't tell me you've been running a skim job. I'm 100% legitimate, Luis. You know me. Total transparency. Sometimes I wonder if you brought me on as a partner just to share the blame when the IRS comes knocking. I was investing in your industry and acumen. Don't look for anything sinister here. That's what you say, V. But I'm kind of suspicious. Maybe when it's in that robbery made me paranoid. And maybe it's just hanging out with you. Who the fuck knows? coming tonight. We need complete discretion. <laughs> you know me, Tone. Don't ask, don't tell. Mel Jerry Gray. Hey, this is serious. He's paranoid no one will buy his next CD if they know he'd rather be singing cabaret than rapping. As if people buy CDs anymore. Sure. Look, I really need to talk blah, to you, Tony. Blah, blah, blah. Another time, Troy. We'll be at Masonette. Of this company censoring me. I am a radio genius. Now, how many times do I have to say it until you just blindly agree? I am. Troy's getting anxious. We should all be getting anxious. The nightclub business is going to shit. Forget the banks. We're the ones who needed a bailout. No more that shit left, eh? Marty, hi, you're unbelievable. Shocking. If what you said wasn't true, I'd Time to be charming, Lulu. Hi, Tone. Hey, Al. I gotta make some calls. You work the floor.
Coming in, not in them clothes. Not with that attitude. Enjoy looking for a job in this economic climate, motherfucker. Yeah. Yo, what the fuck, eh? Tell this clipboard and earpiece motherfucker to back up, pal. Back up? Yo, what's the problem, D? You asking me? Yo, relax. Go inside. I got it. Yeah, go relax. Go inside, eh? Yo, mommy. You need to okay. go relax. Later for you. Nice. Ah. Right, shut up. Okay? Jeez. Wow. Downtown's really changed you, man. You too good to take money from me and Enrique now? You know it ain't even like that, bro. Okay, you don't pay for shit in here. Okay, you just can't be looking like you came from selling dope on the corner. You say that like it's a bad thing. Tony, what do you think? <laughs> Desi wouldn't let me address like that. Huh? You see what I mean? Come to think of it, Lou, what the fuck are you wearing, huh? What? Go home and take a bath. <laughs> do nothing else. Put on some clothes, huh? Yeah, I had a complicated day, okay? All right, so take some time off. The girls in there could use a night off too. <laughs> we up. Bye, bye, gentlemen. Nice boss you got there. Stuck a fucking fag. Mike, right, come on. Hey. Club of yours was bullshit. You gonna take us back to the heist or what? You're on a scooter. Or are you on a complex? Not difficult. Just... Oh, yeah. I've been thinking about this. How many days a week you work those corners? Seven days. Junkies need junk, rain, sleep, or shine. You ain't no postman, loco. You a pusher. All those hours, it'd make more slinging meat at burger shop than risking a bit on them corners. You sound like 5 0. Shit. You think Enrique could get a job at burger shop? What's your IQH? 76, motherfucker. What they gonna let you do at burger shop with an IQ sub 80? They're just about to let me wash the goddamn dishes. You see what I mean now? They don't even have dishes at burger shop. All this shit is polystyrene. There ain't another job in the city for this dumb bastard to do. Hourly wage considered and all. You don't get no pussy work in Burger Shot, neither. If them Ivy League motherfuckers can't find work, what you think Rike's meant to do? Work them corners, man. Work them corners. I do don't mean nothing, man. You guys are better than this. I don't want any of us to go away again. Then come on board with us. We can start selling our own product. Your connections, man. We'll have the whole city on our gear. 
I took a bid for you once, man. I ain't going back there. You think I put in all this work to go back inside? Of course it is. The real problem is the next ice age. Prison was the best thing to happen to you, L. What the fuck are you talking about, man? Before you went in there, you was a skinny little shit, and now you pumped up. Don't tell me that sugar daddy of yours would have been interested in the scrawny fucker that went away. Little Luis, little Luis. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you so much, man. Never thought about being grateful to you for signing me up to the fight-off, hairy-ass rapist day and night exercise plan. My fucking pleasure, bro. Here we be. Thanks, Luis. Ladies, hey, out. Tell that boss of yours we'll be back same time next week. Yeah, see you, mama huevos. Santiago sound. From Puerto Rico to Liberty City. The sounds of San Juan are here. Reggaeton! San Juan sounds. Suavemente. El Square. It's really, really hard for going out with Puerto Rico. Oi? Yes, me, Tom. Things go smooth at the clubs? <laughs> Made me wonder why I need you around at all. Oh, great. I might just take a vacation then. Come on, I was kidding. The clubs fell apart without you. So that bank robbery on the news could have been an opportunity for some positive PR. Fuck that shit. I don't need any press like that. Not with the way police treat an ex-con in this town. <laughs> have it your way. See you soon. As a state senator, he voted to close down all schools in Liberty City and get the money saved directly to drug addicts. John Hunter wants to be your governor, but he hates our troops so much, he wants them to cut and run and come home cowards. John Hunter has lost an erection more than once and disappointed his wife much in the same way he'll disappoint you. And he definitely has air plugs and lifts. Call John Hunter. Tell him that come is not fooling anyone. Short-ass bald bastard. It's just like your policies. Thin on top and short of ideas. Paid for by Michael Graves for governor. WKTT. Because of the war on terror, it's kill or be killed. WKTT. This is Tony. You haven't gotten hold of me, so give Desi a call if this is concerning Masonette, Troy if it's Hercules, or Luis if it's important. Love you. Bye. Hey, man. Hey, bro. Throw in? Yeah. Seriously, that's not the issue. No, I just want to make you happy. Is, is there anything else my team can do for you? No, we can do events, parties. <laughs> no, anything you like. Just, just give it a think. All right, bye-bye. What a dick. What's up, T? Oh, I don't want to think about what's up. Come on, there's something I got to take care of. All right, think, think. Ah. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> hey, 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 Mr. Tony! You remember me? Of course, of course. Uh, my business partner, Mr. Lopez. Yusuf Amir. What is up, homie? Not much. Hey, you guys want to join us maybe for uh, a bit of this or a bit of that? Ah, uh, we'd love to, but we gotta go deal with some business. Okay, good. Good seeing you. Yeah. Take care, huh? Oh, 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 oh. And uh, if you ever want to talk about franchising this place, huh? Just give me a call. We will. We absolutely will. Hi! <laughs> Let's go. I'm in the mood, baby. Ya wallahi! Ha! Ha! Wallahi! Head down to Dragonheart in Chinatown. Take this gun, Luis. Just in case. Just in case? Oh, this is some sci-fi shit. I know a guy who gave me a deal. What can I say? It helps to be prepared. Tony, man. We're going to Chinatown? Really? What? We got business. Tony, you know what you like on the MSG. Those fucking headaches. You won't leave the house. Or for a fucking egg roll. I eat your meal. Oh, I'm glad you care. It ain't that I care. It's that I can't take the money. Well, we're not heading out for dim sum. Rocco's asked to talk to someone. The rent of Guido pretending to be a gangster? Now I wish we were getting takeout. Hey, we're in debt to the kid and his uncle, and he's got the ear of one of the most powerful families in the city. We gotta at least pretend to play ball. In that case, I guess my brother is in good hands. You take care of that prick. It seems the definition of family loyalty differs in your country. The marketplace has a value for everything, and I guess that a disloyal Jew bastard ain't worth shit to me, brother or no brother. Such are the heady joys of consumer capitalism. A system that's flaws are becoming increasingly evident. Ah, <laughs> that's right, I forgot. You little yellow people are commies too, huh? Both sides of the fence. You know, I grew up watching your kind getting killed on the TV. Hell of a show. I'm sure, but perhaps the show wasn't as much fun as the reality of that war. Hmm, perhaps not. Now I bid you farewell, sir, and don't do all that smack at once. On second thought, you know, go ahead. Do. Boo. Hey, watch it, you greaseball fuck. I apologize for our associate's uncouth manner. I can only say that our partnership with him is one of necessity, not volition. Please, you must be the famous Tony Prince. Ah, uh, notorious, maybe. It's Luis Lopez, my business partner. Hey. Mr. Pelosi has led me to expect much from this meeting. Ah, yeah, about that. Rocco has a tendency to promise more than he can deliver. So that must have been weaned too early. Yeah, we're not weaned at all. As you can see, we are already behind schedule on this project. We need you to, uh, how do I put this, to uh, clear things with the planning department and to ease some licensing troubles. Hey, look, we're not lawyers, okay? We run nightclubs, pretty badly, too. We got enough trouble keeping the licenses on our own clubs, okay? We don't do licenses. Before I was being polite, Mr. Lopez, but I do not have to be. Mr. Pelosi made it clear that you are not in a position to choose who you help and who you do not. Yeah, well, that kid's got a big mouth, okay? And he ain't in no position to be writing checks for us, okay? We are not going to be able to help you, period. Let's go, Tom. Sorry to waste your time, Mr. Um... You are not going anywhere until we have an arrangement. No, I'm afraid we are. There is no arrangement. You got a problem? Take it up with your boy Rocco. You are not negotiating column inches and bar tabs, you insolent fuck! We are serious people! <laughs> really? Hmm. Yeah, really! <clears throat> what is wrong with you? I was supposed to be the irrational idiot with the anger issues. I got anger issues. Okay, the guy threatens to shoot me because I can't arrange a liquor license for him. Please, give me a break, T. Oh, God. Oh, sh They're coming for us. These guys are coming. They heard that shot.
We're smart. We were dumb enough to walk into the death trap for the kid. I doubt we're gonna pull brains out of our asses now. Leave it to me. You just concentrate on looking pretty. Yeah, absolutely, T. You've done such a great job so far. And the clubs, I get it You're gonna call Rocco then? Rip him a new one? I got a feeling we ain't the only ones who'll be ripping him, Lou. God, I need my pills. Don't take that shit, T. I'm serious. Death with dignity. you know, they are pets. I mean, seriously, if your mom gets remarried, you hope for sexy stepsisters. You know, something interesting, lonely, that, that kind of thing. Isaac Hammerstein's got a, a couple of wildebeests on his hands. I mean, ugly. <laughs> the word isn't enough. And there needs to be a new word to describe them that means so ugly that there's an earthquake and mirrors crack. And, and one of them, God, she has the Hello? nerve to ask me to stop touching her. Should have built her. She's trying to do her a favor, boost her confidence a little. You gotta boost fat girl's confidence. A little old yeah. ass grab, you know? You play a little doctor like you always do with your sister. Huh? Hello. Tommy! What's happening, man? Who's this? That's Joseph Amir, man. Who? The guy who wants to talk about franchising your club. Hey, those conversations are usually Tony's department. But Mr. Tony gave me your number. There are some other matters I need to discuss before we get down to the real shit. Hey, if Tony gave you my number, then it's okay, bro. Great! Come hang out at my apartment. It's right on the middle park. Prime location. One of the most exclusive in the city. Top dollar shit. you love it. Yeah, all right. I'll be by sometime. Just don't wait up. like my own penis. Every highway and byway. Now I'm not so sure where the hell I am. Uh, excuse me, uh, mister. Do you know where there's a good club around here? For people like you guys? No, for my mother. Yes, of course. For someone like me. And not us. Don't mind it, it's just my intern. Sure, whatever. <laughs> yeah. There's a place down the block on the left. It's a club you really like. It's called Hercules. That sounds like my kind of place. They must have named it Hercules because it's for people that are gods. Get you a smoke a lot of latte.
There's a tip jar, jackass. Women want it. You need it. Set up these careers with pride. The whole Before the deal was all about stopping you smelling. No longer. Now it's about turning you into a raging beast. Where the horn? Aquí está su cafecito. Gracias. ¿Quieres azúcar? No. Mami, soy yo. Ay, Luis. Hey, hijo, ¿quieres un cafecito? Sí, un ching. Un ching. Uh, Luis, this is Mr. Santos. What's going on? Hey, I guess I didn't recognize you from your mom not having any pictures of you up on the walls. Yeah, I guess she doesn't have any up. Now you mentioned it. I guess mugshots don't sit along too well with graduation shots. Hey, who the fuck are you? Well, it's complicated. Mr. Santos is a businessman. It's not that complicated when you think about it. You see, your mother here has been making that classic American mistake. In other words, she's been living beyond her means. Hey, bro, be polite when you talk about my mother, man. I'm being very polite. See, I like her. She's a good woman. If I ain't like her, I would have burned this building down by now. I mean, you know you could have came to me for money. But what would you do to get it? Yeah, I wouldn't borrow it for a piece of shit like this. Hey, be careful, kid. I could have you killed. Oh, I'm real scared of you, motherfucker. Huh? How do you sleep at night, man? Long talking to old women. Hey, hey, hey. She called me, okay? It's business. We run a service. She knew the rules. She should have read the small print. You know, you really are a piece of shit. I'm a businessman, and trust me, it could get a lot worse, my friend. Now calm the fuck down. Your mother told me about you. Maybe you can help me pay off your mother's debt. That way this building doesn't have to come to an unfortunate end. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's go. As always, nice to see you, Miss Lopez. Luis, be careful. Yeah, it's a bit rich coming from you. You ought not to judge me, Luis Lopez. You're just like your father. Walk and talk. You're gonna start fighting for money again. Sorry, bro, but I don't do that no more. I saw you go a few years back. Could have been something if you didn't care so much about that pretty face of yours. Thanks, but that ain't the reason I quit. You ain't quit no more. My thinking is you were bad enough for no one to notice when you take a dime. You beat the first two guys I set you up with. Then you fall on the third. Fuck, bro. Shit, bro. I sure didn't think I'd be coming back here again. Man, there's probably even some guys on the scene that still remember me. They ain't all fucked up by now. Get used to winning. Then your mama better get used to me coming around and not being my usual friendly self. Hey. Time for your fighter to shine, Santo. Get him changed and ringside. You up, kid?
shit out of you. Are you too fucking stupid to know when to lay down? Guess I must be. You're a fucking dead man. I'm gonna burn that bitch mom of yours too. Yeah, I don't think you are, tough guy. This little game's over for you. Taking care of things for you, ma. That guy ain't coming around no more. Don't worry about it. What kind of attitude is that to give your mama? Do you think you're something special? Like some baseball player? Like some gangster? Mommy, I didn't imply anything like that. You organize parties, Luis. You're a bouncer? Don't act a big shot with me because I know who you are. Mommy, you don't know me. The most important people in the world come to our clubs, and I look after them. I have something, and I look after you. I'll see you soon, okay? Bye. Hey! Yo, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? What you mean, homie? You can't be sitting here, man, watching him. Any fool policeman on the second day on the job will know you're the guy with the shit, man. You'll wind up back inside, you moron. It's nice to see you, Mr. Big Shot. Real nice to see you. Captain Downtown. Come up here to talk down to his old friends? Yeah, I just care about you guys, okay? I don't have a choice, man. My right-hand man got a single-digit IQ. Hey, H, come over here, man. Of course, I could do what you did. Run the fuck away. Go fuck a man or some shit? Yo, I ain't fucking no man, bro, okay? I'm working the best clubs in the city. I ain't go nowhere. I'm 10 minutes away on the train. 10 fucking minutes. What's up, H? It's like, it's another country down there. 10 fucking minutes. I give you 10 fucking minutes. You ran away. Yo, whatever, man. Whatever. Whatever. You want a job, bro? I'll get you a job, man. You know that. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. I want a job sucking some aging playboy's cock. I want that job real bad. Sign me the fuck up. <laughs> You're such a dick, bro. You would know. Enrique, would you get the moron to shut up, please? I'm sorry, man. I just miss you. But maybe I express myself coarsely, but we was like family. Oh, yeah, loco, we are family, man. But family doesn't mean we have to live up here slinging dope to a bunch of suburban punks from Aldene. Man, don't do complain about how life could be. We on the doorstep, man. Liberty fucking city. We could run the fucking world, man. Oh, and you running the world? Or you running errands for some ass muncher? Yo, Tony's all right, man. He's, He's like, like the, the daddy, daddy I never, never had. had. Oh, oh. <laughs> fucking sugar daddy. Hey, whatever, man. My mate. Luis, boys. Hey, mommy, hey, Mrs. How Zero. are you, boys? Hey, Mrs. <laughs> Hi, Luis. Oh, you look tired. Hey, mommy, I've been working, you know. I do know. That's the problem. When you're going back to school. Hey, mommy, por favor. I hear you going back to school, Armando. Doing an MBA, Mrs. L. Mm -hmm. Hey, let's go. I mean, I gotta go, okay? But here, take this. Grab it. <laughs> Luis, take your life more seriously, baby, please. Don't be like your father. Look at your brother, look at your sister. They're doing so well. Mommy, I know, but what do you expect? I gotta hang out with morals like these two, okay? Bye. <laughs> let's go. 
Morons like us, eh, my brother? Ah, you know how mommy is. Oh, like a woman that's been abandoned by her children? Okay. Lulu, 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 Lulu. I know you think we small. I know you think we ain't shit. But that's why I hit you up, man. Why? Because we got something real coming down. Yeah, the last time we had something real coming down, I did two years. Look, I'm not gonna insult your intelligence by telling you shit is gonna be different now. But it is. It is. Come on, trust me. Let's go. Business is going down in East Hook, bro. Get us over there, bro. Yo, Mando, Rike, I'm serious about this, man. You need to get out of this place. Make something of yourselves. Easy for you to say, Don Juan. I don't get your problem with the neighborhood. The heights ain't all bad, bro. Oh, yeah, sure it ain't, man. How many kids from our class stuck around up here? None that did anything. Them punks Oscar, Willie, and Alonso did. And look where they at. Fuck them. You had some good times here. Don't forget about that shit. You remember the summer of 99? Yeah, I do. It was damn hot that year, wasn't it? Hot as shit up here in 99. And we started getting into that Vespucci University Toto. Remember that? Nothing quite like college girls. Yo, even Rike got him son, didn't he? <laughs> Yo, shit. That Iberian girl. Fuck the glasses <laughs> right off her nose. I sure did. Yo, hey, everybody gotta grow up someday. Not if you live next to a college, you don't. Them bitches stay the same age your whole life. True, bro. But that's not what I meant. I know. Shit. How them Gomez boys anyway, Luis? Hey, you know I don't see them dumb fucks no more. <laughs> Damn! Five you ain't people. taking no prisoners, Lopez. 5-0 asking us about you and them all the time. You seen Luis Lopez up here with the Gomez boys? You seen Mr. Luis Fernando Lopez associating with Willie Valero? <laughs> it's like they obsessed. Yeah, man. You get bagged with a couple of punks. It's like you're associated with them for the rest of your life. 5 0s dumb. Fucking useless, bro. Who are the crimes out of control in this city? I can think of a few other reasons, too. Speaking of crime, bro, what the fuck are we doing here? Me and Rika got a new package. Shit's good enough for us to start seriously stepping on shit and making some real profit. Product, then profit, then pussy. P, P, P. That's how it works, bro. Sure it does, Rika. And you remind me why I'm coming along on a motherfucking dope deal? I don't touch that shit no more, man. I got a legitimate source of income. Where did they come from? We just having a final meet with the guy to smooth out some details. Would really help if we had a respectable punk like you along. Yo, this is just for appearances, right? You sure? Yo, sure I'm sure. Just for appearances. We shaking hands with the man is all. Nothing incriminatory. Fuck, bro. Okay, okay. Only because I love you guys. You should know that. Shit, Mando, you right. What? The big queen really has groomed this fool. He gay, 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 gay. <laughs> ah, fuck you, bro. Strap up, bros. An auto shoddy and some grenades for peace of mind. Oh, yeah, just what we need for a friendly tete a tete. To make you blink. What does blinking cause? <laughs> Come on, you know this. Distrust. When was the last time you talked to someone who blinked a lot? You don't trust a word they say, blinky ass bastard. Anyway, well, let's hit the phones. Hi, ah, you're being traced by government forces as we speak, trying to irradiate your testes. Glad to have you on the show. Shoot. Yeah, I want to talk about global warming. Global warming is a real estate hoax to drive up the prices of money. I'll be up here, bro. <sighs> Fucking cocksuckers. Papi, what's up, man? Hey, hey, hey man, what's uh, good? Chilling, bro. I ain't. Bobby, what's up? What up, baby? Yo, but who's this clown right here? Yo, be easy, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is Luis Lopez. He's our boy. Yo, you gotta say my name, bro. Luis, you don't gotta worry about shit. Bobby's a businessman, legit. He's our connection, bro. Purest package in town. You no, know, I got that raw, baby. You already know. <laughs> to a fruitful relationship. Uh, uh, uh. uh. Oh, the dealer, bitch. Dealer. Oh, 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 it's gone. Oh! Yo, what the fuck? That sounds. Oh, yo, you motherfucker, you shut me up, huh? You were follow, right? Yo, we wasn't. Were you back? What's, What's going on? What's going on? They must have got in our phones. Yo, fuck that, you fucking amateurs. I'm out of here, man. Backs against the wall. Backup on a wire. 
problem with the door. Hold on. We ain't got no time. Run! We ain't moving with that thing there. We'll see if there's something we can take it out with in that noose van. The noose is some well equipped motherfucker. Make a U-turn, we're safe. In 20 yards, turn right. So much for that package of yours. Whole load of work for nothing, bro. Fuck. Oh, Mando, you gotta be careful with them phones, man. People are onto that shit. That Tingo is a max, but that shit means they can pretty much read your thoughts now and get away with it. Thanks for the lecture, Professor. I didn't know a two-year stretch qualify you to teach Street Life 101. Oh, yeah, I ain't lecturing you. I'm just looking out for my boys. Ain't that what you do at them clubs of yours? He looks out for boys in tight denim shorts. Oh, wow. We back there again? Luis, bro, you want us to come downtown to lecture you on interior decoration? Or boulevard musicals? Or sucking cock? I don't think you do. Oh, yeah, sabe que? Now that you mention it, I could do with some dick sucking lessons. I hear you nailed your technique on the last bit of state, eh? We was just close friends. Whatever anyone told you was fucking bullshit, man. Fucking bullshit! He's a good guy, got three kids. I think we hit a nerve. Someone misses their cellmate. Oh, Fuck you, both of you. Yeah, I don't see why you guys are giving me shit. You was the ones who asked me to come along on this thing. We asked you along to look pretty. We didn't know shit was gonna fuck up. Yeah, well, shit did fuck up. And I nearly got killed. So I think I earned the right to be hurt for a second. Oh, Luis got his panties in a twist. Speak your piece, bro. Look, as you say, I ain't an expert in this shit. But I do run a business. You run Tony shit, do you? Where's the money then? You're gonna listen to me or what? You're never gonna get anywhere if you guys are the ones selling on the corner. There's enough chumps out there to do that work for you. Just get involved in the high level shit, man, and never talk on the motherfucking phone. That's all well and good, bro. But selling in our issue is getting hold of Prada. What are you talking about, man? There's Prada all over the city. Just take it off, motherfuckers. Steal that shit? They ain't exactly gonna call up 5-0, are they? You could be right, bro. Other than this shipment we being paid to oversee, there ain't nothing else coming in for us. We might just have to start ripping people off. You gonna help us? Mira, look, I don't know. I could do with the money. But you boys is clowns. You reach back on board, bro. I know it. You could be making as my band. You know what? Late night talk shows at the band. You could be the band. Turn band. left. The last low show on Integrity 2.0 Orchestra. And since you can't even afford a drum kit, I don't have to pay you shit. Turn right. Have arrived. The night. Thanks, bro. You know I hate to ask this now, you all Johnny Lawful and shit. But me and Enrique are gonna need to do some serious work if we're gonna maintain shit on these streets. We could use someone we could trust. Mira, pana. You know I said I wouldn't get involved in that no more. I'll have to think about it, bro. Thanks, Luis. We'll see you soon, yeah? Girls from across... <laughs> women parade in tiny clothes and pass judgments on them just like on the streets. This year, who will go away with the glory? Yo, bitch, you think you can do that for eight hours straight? Who has the endurance? I can't work. The reality oh. show that captured our hearts and gave us herpes last season is back. Man, my titties, man, you America's next top hooker. It's time to judge women again. Coming soon to CNT. in Algonquin has police on a citywide manhunt. The daring heist took place at a... How did you not see me? ...in downtown Algonquin earlier. One of the robbers was killed in the raid. He was identified as Michael Keane, a felon from Dukes. A bank customer, computer technician Eugene Reaper, attempted to stop the robbery and was murdered. Authorities are on the lookout for...
Hello? 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 Hey man! Hey nigga! What's up? What's up? So glad you could make it, man. Seriously. Fucking A! You know, for real, man. Yep. You okay, bro? No, I'm fine, man. I got a couple of bitches upstairs. Hot ones, not cheap. Nice. Hey man, you wanna join in? No, I'm, I'm cool, man. I'm cool. <laughs> yeah, of course. So, to be honest, anyway, after I finish with them, they'll be out of commission anyway. I'll bang them to pieces. After I finish with them, they'll look like they've been dragged through the fucking desert. <laughs> oh, wow, good for you, man. Good for you. Listen, so, um, what do you want? <sighs> you see this city? I own it. Everything. Seriously. Really? No. But one day. I'm building 60 skyscrapers, man. Condos, penthouses. Luxury apartments, serious shit. But I tell you, oh man, oh I love this song. You know this song? Oh yeah. Hey, rap money. <laughs> hey, you don't dance? Not with dudes, bro. You see this city? I run it. I run everything. I'll show everyone. I mean, look at this shit here. This is a gold phone. Solid. Beat that, daddy -o. Wow, great, man. That's great. Wait! I'm the real deal, nigga! I'm the real fang! Sure, bro, sure. So what do you say? You gonna help me out? Tony says you can handle yourself. Maybe, man. What do you need? I need to shut my fucking father up. Oh, I ain't killing your father, man. No, I know you're not. I needed to get a helicopter for him. You know? And I found it. It's a military issue. Beautiful machine. Sexy. The company that built it, they have a display model on their boat. And that will shut him up. You know, show him I've got good connections, you know, and uh, pay him the respect he deserves. Is that porn playing up there, bro? <laughs> no, man. That's real women. Trust me. <laughs> and I ain't paid shit. Okay, so... You want me to get you a helicopter, and that'll make your dad happy. Mm. You better be the real deal, man. Pfft. You know, I tell Tony that we work together, huh? I'm going to make you both very rich men. We'll open up nightclubs all around the world. China, Pakistan, Timbuk fucking too, anywhere you want. <sighs> you know what this means? You and I, we are brothers, we're partners. Okay. Give me a call when you get there. Now I've got to attend to some business. Ladies! Prepare to suffer! Ow! Please make a U-turn where safe. For girls, we have Stacy. She says all sorts of great things. If 400 yards, turn right. Straight asshole. Even I have trouble getting 
VIP access. You know, you will recognize this face. There's one way spotted already. No more, Yusuf. I'm gonna trust you that there was bad news. Yeah, of course you can trust me, man. We're brothers now. Blood brothers. They were the baddest cats out there. Shit fucking cats. Just bring the cops into my helipad. My best boy Ahmed is waiting for you there. Okay. Cheer up, brethren. Don't think about it. Y'all think of the palaces we built together. The zoos we built. Endangered species you thought didn't exist no more. Saber-toothed dodos and shit. Women in gold cages. You name it. Everything to be happy about. Dreams, amigo. Dreams. I got the go, bro. Keep on dreaming. Okay. Fly safe. Pimps don't let up! 
you been, man? Yeah, I came as soon as I could. I don't pay for as soon as I could. Sleep with half the women in Liberty City, no doubt. What's wrong with you, man? You acting like an asshole. You think I don't know that? You think I like being like this? Then what's wrong, T? I fucked up. Good and proper. I work on Gonquin Nightlife 20 years. I beat everyone. Mayors, rivals, drugs, everyone. And this time, I fucked up. I'm the only man in the history of this town with the hottest gay and straight clubs at the same time, and I'm about to lose everything. What are you talking about, T? I don't know if it's that idiot Evan or, or the economy or this fucking cocaine or the pills, which I am not taking anymore, but this time I fucked up. Oh. Oh. I've done a deal with the wrong devil, man. I'm such an idiot. If things have been bad before, man. You get us out of it. I fight. You plot, together we get out of it. Sure, but we've never been this fucked before. Hey, you saved me, man. Made me. Gay Tony will always be the king of this town. You are this town. I sold the business to two different people, and they each think they own the lot. Man, we're fucked. So I'll go tell them they gave you the money as a present. If they don't like it, I take them to the special VIP room at the bottom of the West River. <laughs> it's gonna be very crowded in the VIP room. These are not nice people, and there's a lot of them. And right now, you and me have to go play nice with one of them so they don't start sending rent a Goomba into the club. Fuck. It's gonna be okay, man. Yeah, whatever. Meanwhile, there's a there's this blogger, this nebbish with an internet connection, bad-mouthing me all over town. Do you know this guy? The, the celebrinator? Celebr what? I, whatever. Come on. All right, who's the girl? There wasn't a girl, man. There's always a girl. We're meeting Rocco at the driving range. This one's gonna peter out real quick. Probably go home and hate itself. Nice and sunny up here right now. Trip Michaels, Weasel Weather. Telling you, KT. Fucking Rocco. After what happened in Chinatown, please tell me we're gonna take a nine iron to his legs. You think I like running around for that little shit? There was a time when the name Tony Prince meant something downtown. If you think I signed up to be this Boy Scout mafioso stooge with a big grin on my face, yeah, well, being his stooge's stooge ain't too much glamour neither. Money makes a man do strange things. Pussy makes him do stranger things. But luckily, I'm not susceptible to those perils like you are. So I don't get you killed nearly as much if recent times is anything to go by. Don't underestimate it, Luis. The Snatch has brought down empires bigger than our own. You should get some t-shirts made, T. Get out of the nightclub business and concentrate on your philosophical sayings. Let's go find him. Oh! Rock, hey, how are you? There they are, the spick and the fag. Tony, shit, you got burrito breath. You ain't been eating Mexican again, have you? Yo, Rock, you invested in the wrong clubs, man. Maybe split size is more your vibe. Oh, but a bum. I'm sure I would have found that funny if I spoke spick. Real shame, I'll have to ask my maid to translate for me. Rock, what do you need? I need you to help me get some information out of this union prick who's decided to get an overinflated opinion of himself. These fucking guys, stuck in the 1970s or something. Where is he? He's right down there. Fuck! <laughs> you fucking missed me, you piece of shit. Fucking prick. Oh! Big man! Yeah, yeah, you fuck, you miss me, I'm bitch. gonna get down there and go you talk miss. to him. You, swing like a you hit him with some balls when I tell you to, huh? <laughs> you think you can do that for me, Louise? Yeah, I'll give it a try. Yes! 
gonna tell me who's holding out? All right, all right. The other family's got libel in their pocket. The foreman on Columbus cites their boy. I ain't letting you off that easy. That's it! Let me fucking go already! Why is he moving it? Damned if I know. Don't Rocco have someone else to hit the batting cage for him? You've met the guy, haven't you? I can't imagine he's got too many friends. <laughs> there you go! Give me the rest of them, you piece of shit! I hear Jack Duffy with the TWU might be with them. Okay, now fuck off already! So you got those two guys? Untie me now, asshole! He must like driving that thing. Where'd you learn to play golf, Lou? Right here, right now. Needs must, don't? To be honest, I never fancied the game. I find the clothes you have to wear kind of unflattering. Ugh. Ouch! <laughs> that ain't it. You and me know that ain't it. You fucking assholes! The head of the LTAs with the Messinas. There's no way you're gonna get those contracts. Any moment now, my protection's gonna show. And you guys are screwed. You think that means shit to me? Fuck you! Fuck! Get down here, Taco! I don't want to think about the trouble we've been in if they kill Rocco. Let's get down there. I ain't gonna chicken out on you like I did in Chinatown. Oh, really, though? When you become the God Foggy Specialist? 
No, I don't know. Just get us out of here and shut up. That's it. We're clear. Uh, Smithy, tell them how they can get their Todd stickers. Yes, Mr. S. Todd stickers are for take out your twat. That was a pleasant outing, Rock. Where's that put us with you know what? We square? Square? What you borrowed? At those points? You ain't even making a dent on the interest. Besides, I'm about to have to do all the messy work on this guy myself. No, but I, I, I told you shit. I told you everything. I'll see you girls later. Jesus! Come on, let's head back to the apartment. You touching yourself right now? Are you? I sure am. Hey, you know, I'm really warming to that guy. Like a back case of crabs. Crabs are easy to get rid of. Believe me on that one. Thank you for sharing. We're business partners. We share everything. The emphasis is on business, bro. You can keep your crabs to yourself. Sorry, man, but I really got us in the shit here, Luis. Tony, man, you gotta calm down. You're really pushing me. Yeah, well, if you weren't out chasing tail, and this was a two-man operation like it should be, then maybe things will be holding together better. Oh, I'm getting blamed for this now? Oh, of course. Whenever I come to the clubs, you ask me to run off on some stupid errand like a chump. You don't ever let me into the serious shit. And you do deals without even telling me. Until it comes time to protect your ass from whoever you got your fatwa of the day all from. All right, all right. Maybe I've taken you for granted. I'll change. I'll be better. Yeah, thank you, but I don't believe it. Here we are, bro. Rest up, okay? Listen, Lou, would you mind paying Maury a visit? He says he needs help with something. I know he's a bit of a schmuck, but we owe the man money, and I don't want him anywhere near the clubs. I feel you there, T. That guy is a social atom bomb. I'll go see him. Hey, have you a light? Hey, sorry, Papi, I don't smoke. Ah, a Spaniard, wonderful, a man of culture. I'm not <laughs> sure someone from the highs qualifies as being Spaniard, but whatever. Oh, exactly, whatever, whatever you say, Daddy. Excuse me? What is wrong with you? The British, they give you this beautiful, if a little awkward language, and you just debase it with whatever, or like, or fuck you, or get over yourself. In that <laughs> case, fuck you. Oh, c'est ça, on va te faire foutre. Oh, who am I to complain? My country is not much better. We are the worst. My people watch American television and then they complain about it afterwards. Oh la la, I am rich! Uh, time was when we would chop someone's head off and we would run around the street with it on a stick. Vive la France! Now, we are soft and miserable just like you. Hey, I'm not miserable. Well, then clearly you do not watch enough television. <laughs> you enjoy the, the bright lights and the big cities and the hope that maybe one day you become rich and stupid and, and your people. Maybe you can make a nice little TV show with you and your friends. Hey, knowing my friends, I hope not. <laughs> well, I do not come to Liberty City uh, to watch television. I come to fuck and get high. What else is there? Well, I don't know. Family? I had a family. Meaningless. Honor? Psst. Don't make me puke. No, mon ami. I had to tell you, my friend. Nothing matters in this world apart from getting your rocks off. Or getting so out of it you don't realize you haven't got your rocks off. <laughs> I like a man who's so focused. <laughs> Have you got a car? I'm not sure I want to get into a car with someone like you. Oh, <laughs> relax, relax. Uh, let's go for a drive. I like you. You find things as, as ridiculous as me. I have a lovely little masseuse uh, booked in Chinatown. Oh, Can we go there? Harass people till they commit suicide. Suicide! Sounds like a brilliant and original plan. Mr. S, I'm gonna see how much mercury I can pour into my testicles until I lose consciousness. I'm doing it for you, Mr. S, and because I have self-esteem issues. You're on Can I buy a massage for you? Uh, it's the least I can do considering your many kindnesses. Nah, I'm cool, bro. I don't need no slave labor fluffing me. <laughs> I like things giving up willingly. 
As you wish, but uh, there are pleasures distinct to the professional mistress. Uh, you may come to understand that in later years, uh, Spaniard. Yeah, okay, Frenchman. I should win another award. I got a toilet full of them. I know, it's the only room you'll let me see in your apartment. Yeah, it's your spiritual home. Lisa, what are we... Thank you, Spaniard. I am only sorry you will not join me in this adventure. When you suits keep bringing me down. Yeah, really. Martin makes this station a lot of money. I know, but you guys are out of control. Yeah, and we were raising money for leprosy. That's right. Listen, we're gonna do it anyway. We already have some contestants entered. Next week is the official third trimester triathlon. If you're pregnant in your third trimester and you can finish a triathlon without entering premature labor, you win. Oh, Tell them uh, more, Smithy. Yeah, as part of the triathlon, the pregnant women have to ride tricycles in circles and slam shots. They run 22 miles, and then after that, there's the breakdancing competition. <laughs> I'll never forget seeing a pregnant woman doing the worm. Little guy shot right out like a stewed tomato. Get back to the PCP lesbians. Stacy, you seem like an intelligent girl. Thanks, Martin. Do you know what a hypocrite means? Of course. What? Hey, Tom, what's happening, boss? You've been hanging out with people behind my back? I've been trying to make us some money. Yeah. You have anything to do with a little boating accident that went down and it's all over the news? Me? I don't even like swimming. Good, because the people on that boat were good people. Freedom fighters trying to stop people smuggling in Asia. Really? I heard there was shit. I... I heard... No, I'm shitting with you. They were armed smugglers, pitched to some of the worst governments in West Africa. But I had you. I fucking had you, you fucking idiot, Louis. Don't turn into a freedom fighter. We don't have the luxury of that right now. And stop going solo on me. Not now. I wasn't involved, T. Of course not. But if I had been, it would have been for us. For the business. Sure. You be careful, Louis. Overcompensating. Knock him dead. I see something weird on the dance floor, Al. Can you check it? as fast as I could. What's going on? Nothing. It's just like, what the fuck is this, Luis? Is something going on? Is it not going on? Huh? Actually, don't worry. Forget I said anything. Just forget it. I should probably go on meds or something. Okay, Joni. This is weird. Try to relax, yo. I'm going back to work now. VIP. I see something weird down there. No doubt. I'll be there soon. Witnessing some aggression here. I wouldn't want to be them. <laughs> Why you let this guy in in the first place? Discreet enough to ignore, don't worry about it. 
Tony of friends, huh? We business partners. Really? That's funny, because Jacob is my business partner, too. Yeah, I don't know if me and Tony is the same kind of partners as you guys. I mean, we don't share hotel rooms, for example. You must get so lonely. You could bunk it with us if you like. We're going to order some shoes from Tokyo when we get back. I'll leave you two to it. That ain't really my scene. You're lost. These kicks are the shit, man. OK, guys, here you are. Come back to the club soon for some good, clean, hetero fun. Yo, valet, this is the pain giver's car. Look after it. Bro, the pain giver can stay in his closet for a few more days. We done with that shit. You got the touch, boss. We'll see you another time. Things like rubbing your groin against a complete stranger to, to make you really love life. Hercules, man. Hercules, I, I never heard of this club. I like the Greek theme, though. Love it. I love gyros and short chicks. Should be a blast. This is Tony. You haven't gotten hold of me, so give Desi a call if this is concerning Masonette. Troy, if it's Hercules, or Luis, if it's important. Love you. Bye. Maybe they do one of those women get in three before 10 p.m. offers that really brings out the skanky sluts, you know? A couple well drinks, and next thing you know, she's banging you in the bathroom. Ha! <laughs> My kind of girls. Ladies, there is smoke. Mr. Lopez. Cut that shit out, Al. I need you to head to the office right away. 
second had to be so fucking ugly. What's your name, Jay? Whoa! I'll work and no play makes Joni a dull girl. There ain't nothing dull about that. You work so hard, I thought you needed a break. Damn! This is what I'm talking about. Hey Al, it might be worth heading down to the VIP. I see something weird down there. No problem. I spotted us a pusher. Do your thing, baby. I don't want to see you again. That's why you the boss, boss. Keep him out, bro. But it's discreet enough to ignore, don't worry about it. Hey, Miss Pokemon, would you like to join us? Sorry, I am Italian. Vladimir is so cool. Mezonet, number two. Numero nove, Mezonet. I ain't gonna kick someone out for being a douche. Let's be cool here. And so, so what here, Oslo? Tony okay? Tony's fine. It's that Cherry McIntosh. She's demanding some takeout from the Iron Belly and Bohan. We don't got no one else who can pick it up. Tony treats these fucking supermodel chicks too fucking well. Hey, I'll do it. I'll do it. You wanna bring me takeout too? I don't know why I bothered, Des. This girl's bulimic for sure. Serious puke. so she can throw up easily.
Davis. Hi there. This is Danny, Ms. McIntosh's assistant. I've been asked to follow up on the whereabouts of her food order. I'm told you're in charge of it. Yeah, I got it right here. If she can hold on tight, it's coming. That's a great message. Let's go to the phones now. Chester and Alderney, you're on. This bitch is crazy. It takes me to get this foul smelling shit to her. Chill out. Thanks for coming, Al. Give me a club full of queens over that Macintosh girl any day. Carrie's got a takeout, D. Remind me to avoid promotion at all costs, L. You're the one who got to do all the shit jobs. Ain't that right, D. Management is for morons. Come back to the Masonette when you got a minute.
an example of diversity, so we avoid a lawsuit. You're so funny, Martin. Burning a rainbow flag. <laughs> should be offended. But <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lou! It's Luis. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Come here, give me some love right here. <laughs> so what'd you want? Don't I say you needed a favor? What, I look like a charity case to you? Can I plead the fifth on that one? Ah, oh, that's, that's funny. You're funny. Yeah, you're fucking funny. Funny for a guy with all those pecs. She got the lats of a little girl. And man, you need calf implants. Look at you. And you know, I'm guessing just just from looking at you, you ain't exactly packing a 10-inch hose, man. Me? <laughs> I make girls wince. Ah, oh, wince. Oh. Just to level with you for a minute, bro. Tony owes you money. Tony's my boss and my friend, so I'll help you out a little. But if you mention my host again, I'll put you in the fucking ground. Jesus Christ, man! You pent up! Come on, I didn't mean anything by it. I apologize. All right, look, let's rewind, we'll restart, we'll relax. Huh? Come here, page one, give me a hug. Huh? Give me a hug. <laughs> That's it. Now, where were we? Oh, well, if it isn't my brother the ghost. Maury, what are you doing here, bro? And who's this guy? It's Lou. It's Luis. Right. Well, it's nice to see you too, little brother. Jesus, you look pale. What, somebody die? Unfortunately not, man. What are you doing here, Maury? I am thinking about moving back home. Uh, you see, I've been hearing some stories about you getting somewhat uh, above yourself. And I'm worried about you. Well, don't, don't worry about me, man. I'm fine, okay? I'm gonna be just fucking fine. Jesus, who is training you? Man ought to be horsewhipped. Look at you. You're, 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 you're lumpy. Oh, you look at awful, like a, a big pale mess. And you're fat, bro. <laughs> you're fat. <laughs> Screw you, Maury, man. You're, 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 you're perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Chiseled, tan, handsome. I'm the dream ticket. Yeah, Mom always warned me that you were a lazy kid. I bet you've been juicing. Of course I haven't. Me too. Ugh. No, no, no. Yeah, I smell it on you. Fear. <laughs> but I'm back now, baby B. I'm b b b b b b back. Oh. And your life just got fun again. <laughs> Come on, Lou. Let's roll. Oh, and uh, fat boy. You better let your friends know about me, because kibbutz number one oh, yeah, is back in town. And this time, dun 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 it's kosher! <laughs> See ya, wouldn't want to be ya, fag. <laughs> Meeting some cats up on Chase Point. Bring off the grid. I pay me in cash. I don't have a social security number. I what you need done, Maury? Oh, we got some very intense shit to handle. Yeah, I'm hoping you mean you got some boxes to move. Something like that. That's about as intense as I'm willing to get for you. Wow! That's incredible! It looks like a man, but he talks like a pussy. Maury, man, you're a business guy, so you should stick to your business shit. Don't get involved in stuff that's out of your league because of some small man syndrome that makes you overcompensate. Whoa, whoa, there's nothing small about what I got going on, Lopez. Oh, you need me to take out the monster? I'll whap that shit on a dashboard and see what you think of it. Yo, yo, you'll think it suddenly got dark in here. I'm talking serious block the sun shit. Oh, ah. Hey, just don't hold me responsible for your inadequacy issues after that, huh? Oh. Oh, don't take nothing out, bro. Keep it to yourself. Keep the monster away from me, and listen to what I'm saying. This shit comes from the heart, okay? I don't want to see you getting in over your head. For a man of your height, that's got to be easy to do. Whoa, whoa, slow up, dog. I think you're mistaken in your impression of me. I look like a civilian to you. You look like a lot of things, bro. A lot of neurosis in one tiny package. Kind of like an army knife without the edge. You think because of my lumpy little brother that I don't swing on the dark side? Hey, I never said you weren't a swinger, man. Come to think of it? You might have seen you on one of the west sides. All right, enough with the jokes. Look, I done three years Israeli military. I seen shit you wouldn't even believe. Yeah, I done three years helping to run Hercules. I seen shit 
you wouldn't believe. Hey, how many guys got the juice to get into some foreign legion shit when they're 18? You were probably still sucking on your mama's titty at that age. I was doing time, bro. And leave my mama out of it. Things I saw over there were insane, dog. Insane! I'd tell you about it, but then I'd have to kill you right here. I could do it, too, with my bare hands. Wouldn't even think twice about it. But I won't, Lou. I won't, because I like you. Yeah. Special forces don't even begin to describe my shit. Special sounds about right to me. Look, I came back here after the service, and I changed, man. I changed. You think it's easy sitting down at Econ 101 when you've been icing fools? I wouldn't know, bro. Still got my 4.0, though, didn't I? Oh, give it up, right here. Yeah, good for you, bro. You want to send me a resume so we can skip all this personal history crap? No, I want you to understand, Luis, that I got the brain and the brawn, the meat and potatoes. MBA plus IDF equals do not fuck with this bitch. I got it all, brother. I can handle anything. Yeah, okay, fine, whatever. Remind me what we're doing now? We are paying a visit to some of my old uh, business associates. We're gonna take over their operation. Clear those fucks out. Perfect. Just perfect. Another fucking war. Fuck yeah! No man ever gave it to me. Calculating that came from root. a woman I met at the perfume counter at an apartment store. Trace, line three. There's been a lot of people talking about whether or not we landed on the moon. I don't really give a shit one way or the other, but I tell you what, we better do something about the moon. The space program came out of the game. Ten dollars on the moon. Hey, you! What the fuck are you doing here, Maury? Oi vey, motherfucker! Dude, we told you we ain't in business with you no more. You're a ripoff merchant. <laughs> no more cooperation, my friends. It's hostile takeover time. Hand it over. Fuck you, Maury, you midget prick. You ripped us off for the last time. Let's get these fuckers! I'll leave, Lopez! I'm going for it! Looks like things ain't going so well for you! They done, Maury. Come on now. Man, 
Now let's take those bitches out for good. about you, Lou. Real fucking bullish. Good to know. Hey, you come by soon. We got some more shit to discuss. So my show appears to be edgy. Uh, Look at them. Uh, Love uh, lesbians. Uh, 
Never gets boring having lesbians on the show. <laughs> Why do they call me sexist and homophobic when I love lesbians? Here she comes. Watch out, boy, she'll chew you up. Whoa, here she comes. She's a man eater. Whoa, here she comes. Watch out, boy, she'll chew you up. Whoa, here she comes. She's a man eater. What's your problem, man? Where's Tony? <laughs> Where's Tony? Where's Tony? What's wrong with, hi, Evan, you're looking cut. Hi, Evan, like a drink? Hi, Evan. If I wasn't straight, I'd ravage you right now. Evan, where's Tony? He said meet him here. <sighs> Who cares about fucking Tony? The man's a neurotic. He's back on drugs, he's looking old, he refuses to get any work done, and <laughs> P.S., the man's a wreck. Then break up with him for the last time and fuck off out of all of our lives, please. <laughs> wow, somebody's got his sister's underwear on by mistake. Ay, Dios mío. Evan, look. I always thought that even for a coke bush and steroid junkie, you were a particular asshole. Okay, I'm just gonna admit that. Now, would you shut the fuck up before I shut you up? Now, where's Tony? He's in the bedroom. <sighs> ah. Hey, Tony, get up. Ah, piss off. Come on, get up, man. Let's go. <clears throat> ah, piss off. I want to die. OK, man, if that's how you want it. Yeah. Come on. Ah. Come on. Let's go. Better? Yo, oh, great. Come on, puppy. Let's go. This way. This way. What? Come on. Oh, come on, fuck this. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, you said we had something to take care of. I ain't having you screw up. I should have let your parole officer put you back in prison all those years ago. You're a degenerate. Uh, what about me? You guys can't just leave me here. Uh, yeah, good point. Uh, now, fuck off, Evan. You getting the pills. Be gone before I get back. Let's go, puppy. Come on, you got it. Let's go. Uh, uh, I'm good. Fucking Adderall! Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? I, I forgot something. Forgot what? The, the, the explosives. Explosives? Explosives? Yo, what's wrong with you, man? You want a nightclub, not a terror cell. Ow, Rocco's gone nuts. He's gonna burn the clubs down for insurance. He's gonna fucking kill us. Yeah, he's gone crazy, and you're running around with some bombs, okay? What kind of drugs do you want? I hope they're strong. I told him I'd take care of his union problems for him. It, it's, uh, it's the only way out. Either that or they kill me. Yeah, I wish you'd talk to me about this first, man, okay? Blowing shit up ain't exactly your side of the business, okay? It's not your forte. What do you care about the business? You got your, your fucking head in the clouds, huh? You think you're a big shot. You're a nothing, and soon you're gonna be a dead nothing. Yeah, no doubt, boss. Now where are you going? I think I got a guy digging up Frankfurt Avenue for Liberty Electric. Okay, what else? Hey, the, the, the transport workers guy is uh, driving an out-of-service subway train through North Holland. I meant to take the whole thing out. A subway train? Jesus Christ, please tell me that's it. Now, the head of the LTA is out of France International in his private jet. And you'll probably blow yourself up as soon as you walk out the door. You ain't doing this. I got to. It's the only way you can survive. Get out of my way. I'm sorry, as much as I'd like to right now, I'm not letting you kill yourself. Try and stop me, huh? Okay. Go! Oh, oh. <clears throat> Shit, Tony. You're a little piece of fucking work, you know that?
it's gonna take some cleaning up. Appears to be in your breast. Please proceed to highlight the Please make a U turn. Please make a U turn. Where safe. That's why they pay me the big bucks. Hasn't changed me, hasn't changed me. Mm -hmm. Money, I mean, hasn't changed me one bit. Yeah, you always were a jackass, if I may say so, Mr. S. <laughs> thank you, stunt boy Smithy, thank you. Oh, Lord, what are you doing, Smithy? It's my first stunt of the day. I'm gonna duct tape M80s to my throat. Yeah, shove a lit one up your ass. I want a broadcasting award. Anything for you, Mr. S. What if he gets hurt? I'm a pioneering broadcaster, a pioneer. I break ground, others follow, others copy. the train. Shot at. That's right, Lisa. This is yourself up. I got us into this mess. Exactly, man. Thank you, partner. You should know that Evans walked out on me. We're over. Yeah, I heard that before, T. If it's real this time, it's a good thing. It's dragging you down, man. 
He's a fucking parasite. You need to concentrate on getting your own life together. See you soon. Someone. A date, actually. A Hercules? It, it's a gay club. You never answered my calls. Yeah, I'm sorry. Or my emails. Yeah, I meant to. I'm just... Fucking rude. Yeah. <sighs> Look, I got a lot going on. Did you get the book I sent you? No. The flowers? No, li listen, Margo. You, you're a nice girl, and, and it was nice hooking up with you, but it, it was over a year ago. What's time got to do with anything? It's, it was a long time ago. I mean, it's time to move on. You're pathetic. You know that? You think you're such hot shit, don't you? <laughs> no, I'm more like cold shit. But, but seriously, I just don't want to marry you. And no matter how many letters you send me, or chocolate bunnies, or skywriting my name, or naming stars after me, or whatever, it's nothing personal. <laughs> no, rejection never is personal. You know, my dad was right about you. Your dad? Look, he probably was, okay? But if you'll excuse me, I, I gotta go. You, you can't go. But, but I can go. You can't. I'm going to die. I just took 37 painkillers and 15 sleeping pills. There, there's the bottle. I'm going to die, and it's all your fault. Oh, yeah, pero tú sí que eres loca. I'll be dead soon. Either get me to the hospital, or I'm dead. You fucking idiot. I gotta get you to a hospital, man. There's one in Easton. Is getting your stomach pumped icky? I think I can feel my heart breaking, baby. No, dumbass. That's just your liver failing. Busting out the sides you in a massive sense. Let's end it all, Louise. Kiss me, baby. The only thing going near that mouth is a tube for the stomach pump. <coughs> Wonderful stepdad, cockface. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm Isaac. And <coughs> my name's Redwoods and Debonairs. Big difference, Sabbath. Some days, you know, beaten by the <laughs> I'm slipping away. Hold me, Luis. Hold up to yourself, bitch. It would be really convenient if you died on me. I was real stupid, wasn't I? Now you're starting to understand. Thank you. For the city and any corporate sponsors who want me to put in a good word you for have a me, I'm available for Get in there. You're the doctor's problem now. Aren't you coming in? You could hold back my hair when they pump me. I see enough bulimic bitches at the club, Margo. You're on your own. I love you. I don't give a shit. Appearances, you know, I got good rates. I'm a funny guy. I make people love me, and that means they'll love your product. Now see drivers, yo. It was for my stuff. Jill's bat mitzvah. I mean, they didn't pay me formally, you know. So I sort of grabbed what I thought I was worth out of that that bag they hand around. I mean, you know, it's the honor system, really. Integrity is what the show's about. You know, I did a bit of stand up there. <laughs> they love me. I don't think they're allowed to watch TV. You know, they related to my stories about sleeping with fat rock groupies. They really did. I told this incredible joke about incest. <laughs> Man, it was shocking. I mean, it was daring, but it was true. My stepdad's family's riddled with the stuff. I mean, family tree like a tent. There are going to be big... You tell him I don't care. A, bi a billion dollars is chump change. What does a billion dollars buy anyway today? Doesn't even buy a million dollars. No, you tell him that. 
you tell him Yusuf Amir is speaking. That name does mean something in this town. One second, hello, excuse me. Hello? Hello, who is this? Papa! Oh, Papa, how are you? Yes, Papa, yeah, it's a present. It's a gift. Oh, no, you didn't pay for it. I did. Well, I didn't pay for it, so you didn't. But Papa, it's, 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 it's complicated. I miss you, Papa. I do. Yes, I'm close to closing the deal. The biggest tower. You're going to be so proud of me. Well, $10 million is maybe a little bit too much to spend in a month, but you know, it was necessary. No, Papa, no, no, that's not fair. No, 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 that... Papa, they're not prostitutes. <laughs> they're loose women. Papa, Papa, hello, Papa. <laughs> hey, it's you, my friend. How you doing? How hey, you doing? What's up, Papa? Trouble with your old man? <sighs> no, it's my father. Uh, okay, yeah, family can be tough, man. Oh, he's a very conservative man. He doesn't understand what I'm doing here. Thinks my life is one long party. <sighs> a reckless orgy of sex, drugs, and spending. <laughs> really? <clears throat> He's deluded. I tell you, I work my fingers to the bone. To the bone! You know, last week, I got exhausted test driving sexy cars. I had to fly to Vice City and bang bitches for two weeks just to recover. <sighs> I'm a workaholic, man. A workaholic, homie. Yeah, evidently. Now I have to meet Ahmed and his brother to take a business meeting, and I, mean, I love those guys, they're like family, but oh, God, it's going to exhaust me. How is that? These guys, they're always going on about how rich they are. Look, the money here, the money there. You know what they are, Luis? I'll level with you. They're very, um, what's the word? Um, tacky. No taste. I mean, I love those guys, but seriously, come on. Okay, well, I, I guess I'll see you later then. No, 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 no. Hey, you're coming with me, baby. You need to hang around. You gotta act like we're friends. Shit, we are friends, baby. Make out that we got shit going down. Going down, my nigga. Anyway, <clears throat> let's go. Let's bounce, baby. When I say bounce, I don't mean bouncing literally. I just mean. I, I know what it means, Yusuf. It's a term I, from the street meaning you have you, to walk. <clears throat> but if you don't get that, it's a bit like uh, rolling. You have to roll with me. You're not, not like a fat man rolling. It means can, actually can just walk. Can we just go? Why don't you just walk? Cruise on up to Rotterdam Tower. We got some meat, man. Who wants to risk having a baby that's slow or ugly? Four hundred yards. I have a special gift, Luis. An auto shotgun with explosive shells. Here's hoping I don't need to use this shit. Excuse me a moment, please. I have to call Ahmed. Make sure it's all cool and safe and that. Yo, Ada, what's up? Tell those bitches at Rotterdam. There's ain't gonna be the tallest tower for long. Yusuf's in town, baby, and your shit about to be inadequate. Oh, yeah, shit, I'm coming, man. Chill the F out. What are you so head up about? Papa ain't in town, is he? No, I couldn't. It's not Papa. I can't think why you are so agitated. Calm down, will you? I'll see you in a moment. I don't have a good feeling about this. Ahmed is not himself. Very fucking weird. Do you mind going up to the observation deck and checking it out? And in the harbor, it seems not everyone agreed with the government. Thank you, brother. Hold me when you know it's all right, all right? Cheerio till then. Okay, bro. I'll head on up there for you. Ahmed, <laughs> Lewis, my man, where's Yusuf? What's going on, bro? What do you mean, what's going on? Chill, homeboy. <laughs> Look at the real estate. The Enjoy. Fuck is Yusuf, you said he'd be here. Yo, what's wrong with you, man? Yo, what's going on? He fucking knows we're in the shit. What do I know? I, I, I thought it's chill, man. Just, shit! Uh, Tell no. me what I just walked into. Shit! Tell me. Please, what are you doing? I'm sorry. Don't. Shit. Don't. Fuck you. No. If I 
see another tourist today? A few. It's a long, long way down. Yo, Ahmed, come on now. You can tire, you animal. Talk to me now, Ahmed. Shoot this away, shoot this away.
parachute! Take it! We were hoping to get Yusef and Wiretap! They don't know shit about you, believe me! <laughs> Snitching motherfucker! I didn't do nothing to you! Soon after. Oh, whatever do you mean? Dude took a dive down to sea level, bro. Motherfuckers set you up with the noose so they could take your business. I cannot believe it. They were brothers to me. I, I, I would have brought them anything they wanted. Sometimes, bro, money ain't enough. I have a deep sadness in me, Luis. Will you join me, please? For an orgy of champagne, cocaine, women, watermelons, and whatever else the city may have to offer. We must forget them. You're gonna have to do the forgetting by yourself, man. I got a lot of other business to deal with. I'll see you around, man, okay? Hey, Louise, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, Troy? Tony inside? No, he's not here yet. Uh, did you talk to him? Who? Tony, about me. What about you? About me working here, man. I can't do it no more. I ain't queer, and it's doing my head in. Bro, you work for a guy whose nickname since 1985 is Gay Tony. Why do you give a fuck? Because I want to be married, man. You know, I want to have a nice life. I want to pick a fence in Alderney. I want to raise kids, play ball, you know? And look at me. Bro, I don't know what to tell you, man. Desi's the man of Mason, okay? This is the job we got for you. If you don't like it, fuck off, I guess. If you do, shut the fuck up and stop being a moron. Don't be like that, man. You know me. I'm an artist. I've got songs in me. Hello. Maybe if Tony could hear me sing, yeah, I, 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 I'd yeah. be okay here. It's me. You're the fucking doorman, bro, not the cabaret. What's wrong with you? You're real tense, man. And you used to be cool. Hey, Troy! Hey, how's business? Luis, come on, let's go. Uh, pretty quiet. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> what is wrong with you people? Don't you know a good time when you see one? Jesus! When even the queens don't want to get wrecked, you know this city is turning into a fucking suburb! All right! Luis, get in the car. Gracie, sweetheart, in the back. Tony, can I have a word? No! No. Let's go. Take us out to Gracie's place at Alderney, will you? It's on Babbage Drive. Smoking a cigarette. Next thing you know. Louise, hey babe, how are you? Hey, yo, Gracie, what's up? Don't. What the fuck is it with Louise? I mean, he'll try to bang anything with a pussy, but it's Mr. Limp Dick when I'm around. I don't know. Maybe it's your charming turn of phrase, or your demure, almost nun-like manner. What is up with that, Louise? Sorry, Gracie. You ain't my type. So can you let me be a Limp Dick in peace? Having a pussy is your type, Lou. Tell me what's wrong with me. There ain't nothing wrong with you. If you like really la guirette. Louise, fuck you. Hey, look. I stopped dealing with monster brats after Danny Lupicella tried to get her daddy to cut my balls off. Call me an asshole, but that was it for me. I know where you're coming from. The shit I got into after my night of indiscretion with Roy Zito. Oh, trying to claim I spiked his drink. Roy Z's a homo? He ain't a very good one. I never would have guessed it. Yeah, well, they don't wear a label on their head. Oh, look at this bitch behind the wheel. Tony, your extreme queeniness is starting to rub off on the employees. Look, Gornio, go. What are we doing out of Grace's house? We're paying a visit. Shit, don't we got other problems right now? Come on. Now that you mention it, there is another issue. That fucking nebbish, the celebinator. Oh my god, I just love that guy's blog. Well, that guy's blog don't love us. What happened? He's talking shit like it's going out of fashion. So what? He thinks he's the only guy with a mouth on the fucking internet? This is something we don't need right now. Oh, no one comes to our summer party in the Caraways. Chill out, bro. First of all, the summer's a long way off. And second, we shouldn't be having no party in the Caraways with our financial situation. 
This guy could sink us. Listen to him, Lou. The Celebinator is real influential. Relax, bro. We'll send them a basket. It'll be cool. It's fucking blackmail with these guys. He got left off a list somewhere, so it's our livelihoods at stake. Yo, all right. I'll check him out. What's his site? I'll send you a link. Will you drop us off and go through it now? But that means Louise won't be able to see the inside of my place. Oh, well, in that case, I'll definitely do it now. Shit, Lou. Another time. Oh, yeah, sure, babe. Some other time. Thanks, Luis. Call me when you've emailed that dreadful blogger. Focus on the ponytail, like a stallion's mane. Girls like to ride horses, often naked. They like a guy that's got... Looks like he can play bass. What's his bald spot for? For helicopter. Shut up with the helicopter shit. Shut up, or I'll call the helicopter to come take you home, Georgie. Listen, I'm not paying for this picture, sir. Right. I said draw me with a fuller head of hair, a nice ponytail, a goatee to please the ladies when I go down south of the equator. You know how I do it, Georgie? Yeah, south of the fucking equator. Yoga. Can I get you a smoke a lot of latte? You want war, Mr. Blogger? It's on. There's a tip jar, jackass. <laughs> Seen a picture of you and me that motherfucker put up there? Yo, that asshole's gotta be taken care of. You're meant to be the rational one here, Luis. Look, I'll see what I can do about it. I'll be in touch. They, they need some, some help. Some, some American radio to entertain them. Sitting in the dust, for God's sakes. Let me tell you, Liberty City has got the best clubs, and a lot of them, even I have trouble getting into. <laughs> Just joking. I can get in anywhere. I'm the fucking, I'm the king of this town. Hey! 
technique invented, of course, by the British and perfected by the Nazis, using crop sprayers to control a population. After the this war, is Tony. You haven't gotten hold of me, so give Desi a call if this is concerning Masonette, Troy if it's Hercules, or Luis if it's important. Love you. Bye! Compensating. Try not to catch any more infections, soldier. El, can you head to the dance floor? I think there's something going on. seem to be enjoying themselves. he can drink for free. Do your thing, baby. You ain't here, my regular baby. That's enough fun time for you. Time to go. What's with the rest stuff? I ain't gotta kick someone out for being a douche. We cool here. Let's go, let's go. Town. My family sort of run things there. Then again, why would you bother with London, Totty, when Liberty City's finest quim is right here on your doorstep? 
Quinn? See you soon, your highness. I need to pick these girls up. They're at the tube station in Easton. In an ancient land, before time or sundials, it was time for a hero. This fall. I thought I was helping you pick up girls in there. Not driving you to meet some. Not quite, chappy. Listen, I'm sorry if you got the wrong end of the stick. Maybe next time you can help me nail some fillies in there. I'm after a different kind of ride, c'est soi. What kind of ride is that? Tarts, my man! Doxies! Ladies of the night! Tramps! Professional services are on the agenda for this chap, I'm afraid. Okay, that's what gets you off. And the CGI bill will be apocalyptic! Dragon Brain, prepare to love. I'm only a humble blacksmith with a California accent. How can I've I taken a little sweetie poo at some dive in Star Junction. Can you run us up there, chap? I do love a bit of yellow. Cunts like hyenas' jaws, don't you know? Not like the big shark attacks you find on English girls. Very nice for you, sir. Where are you lovely ladies from? We are from Korea, Mr. Prince. Fantastic. I love a bit of Korean. It's like you got an A-level in rogering on the national curriculum. Either that or eating all that dog gives you people the major horn. <laughs> what ho! Very horny, Mr. Prince. Horny indeed. You say one man on phone. We not think it was two of you. Cost extra. Oh no, don't worry about him. He's just giving us a lift. Okay. He no want to watch. I'm fine. Here it is. Make sure this guy pays you extra, ladies. He can afford it. Thanks, Chappie. You've been a top sport about this. Send Tony my best. Bye-bye, mister. Citizens terrified. Oh, you probably deserved it. Oh, you're I dropped his regalness at the hotel with tonight's ladies of the night. You're never gonna understand that aristocratic shit. Me neither, Al. Come on back to the masonette when you're free. Arguments carry on about how to speed got it in my car to get maximum impact. Clean up crews at Francis International, Rival, and the LTA have their gory work cut out for them. Mike Whiteley, Weasel News. Even it, even it. All right, Al. Is it true that steroids shrink your balls, or were they always like that? Soldier. Excuse me. Uh, Al, can you head to the dance floor? I think there's something going on. Oh, oh, Things are fine here. Principalmente le donne, però. Le macchine la birra. Insieme no. Le donne va bene con tudo. There's something happening at the bar, Al. Could you check it out? No problem. Oh, watch the shoes. <laughs> Some asshole man handling a lady here, man. Put on a show for me, Al. I love it when you act tough. Get the fuck out of here! Still getting your hands dirty. That's what I like to see. You know what to do if he tries to come back here, D.
There was a fire. I see a fire. Oh, I hope your camera ain't ruined. strong move. So why are you so desperate to get away from the paps? I thought you'd be getting used to that. You never get used to it. Dad and I promised my agent I'd clean my act out. No more sexting for me. Wait a sec. You weren't fucking in our VIP room again, were you? Luis, you know you're the only guy I fucked in that VIP. That was after hours, so that don't count. When am I gonna get a second chance at that? Never say never, but not tonight. It's been a long day. I got just the thing to relax you. 
Baby, you're sweet. But this exec from Canyon is meant to come by. I'll call you. Sure you will. Sweetheart, big kiss to Tony from me. Yo, Des, Poppy Mitchell is now tucked up safely in bed. Good to know. You want to come back to Masonette? We got a club to run. Okay. and shoulders. We're getting air up money. We're getting air up money. Ho! 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 And again, let's go. Hey, bro. Yo, uh, this is uh, Jonel. As uh, Jonel, nigga. I think you want to moderate your use of the word, bro. It's not fucking cool, all right? Listen, are we going to do this or what? I'm on the fucking clock, man. Chill, baby. Get into it. Feel it. Let's go. Ho. Yo, what's wrong with you, man? <laughs> Nothing wrong with me, homeboy. I'm going to build the biggest fucking building in this fucking town. The biggest. My name will go down in history. Yeah, I don't doubt that, man. What do you want? Well, I heard from a friend that we can get some real hardware. A bit like the chopper, but better, partner. Better. Yeah, I don't think I can handle any more of that shit, partner. Mm. I'm talking something seriously intense. How about a mother fucking news tank? Give it up, bro. Come on. Come on! Hey, what you need a news tank for, man? What are you, crime fighting now? I want it. Come on, baby, you and me doing our tank thing? Just rolling like some desert storm niggas. Huh? Ooh, uh, Chinese person. Bye bye, nigga. <laughs> you fucking ridiculous, man. Hey, man. Money, is it money? Is that money you want? Here, here, have it. But come on, let's go get this thing. Come on. Come on, baby, get up. Come on. Let's go again. To the left. Oh. And you got an air wrap money. Come on, baby. We got an air wrap money. Yusuf. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> Welcome. Welcome, Papa. Uh, this is my business associate, uh, and, um, uh, Mr. Uh, Luis. Mr. Uh, Mr. Luis. Allah, he is the greatest uh, technical advisor in the whole city. And uh, this is his wife, John. This. <clears throat> Careful, motherfucker. Uh, yes, and uh, you know, we were Yo. just having a little right. creative meeting, and things went a bit crazy, and. Uh, I somehow lost my pants. <laughs> but you know, Papa, I tell you, you are looking. You're looking very well, in fact. I knew how disgraceful you were. But I didn't realize quite how shameful you were. Oh, Papa, <laughs> things are not how they look. <laughs> things do not look good, son. Don't judge a book by its cover, Father. 
That's what you taught me. When a book is called guns, drugs, hookers, and no pants, I think I don't need to read it. Well, Papa, you know, these people, they mean nothing to me. In fact, they're just going, go, get out. You, Mr. Lewis, take your wife, Mrs. Lewis. And may I say, madame, this is not a very uh, appropriate way for a married woman to dress. I told them many times, father, this is a disrespectful way to dress. Do they listen to me? No, never. And you, by the way, I'll text you uh, in about one minute about the tank, OK? The news tank? Shh. Go and leave right now. Don't you dare come back without knocking first. These people are a disgrace, Papa. But I tell you, moving swiftly on, you will be very proud of my plans I want to show you for the Imperial Amir Towers. I tell you, Papa, magisterial doesn't do justice to it. <coughs> Yusuf? Louis, I think I can give old Papa the slip. Meet me in Star Junction. Really, boss? I'm coming, Dada. Just hold on. See you soon, my friend. Calculating through.
Yusuf, bro, where you at, man? Over here, man! Where? Up here, motherfucker! <laughs> Shit! Stand back while I pick this thing up! Okay, man. Thanks for everything, bro! You're a fucking diamond! Don't mention it. Sorry about this. Not that I've ever done that. I haven't. But I mean, seriously, what do you expect? Look at me. Women can't handle me. I've got all the chromosomes X, Y, Z, all of them. I'm a male. You, hot young jogger. A layer of sexy she sweat forming on your attractive back. You want to bet a star right now? Fuck off, creep. This is called running, not jogging. Jogging's for dorks like you still stuck in the 80s. Maybe if you ran a little, you wouldn't have man tits. Yo, relax and get down from there. Man tits. Pecs. I can bench press 80 pounds. Smell my pheromones, huh? Hey, Lou, come on in. Hang on one second. Check mate. See ya! <laughs> Little thicko never went to college. I never got into an Ivy League school. I got into two! Yeah! <laughs> come on, let's get out of here. Take us over the bridge into the heliport. Calculating route. So, I got a proposition for you, Louie. It's Luis, bro. It'll be little Louise if I want it to be. You still owe me money, so you're still my bitch. Man, Tony, you owe me, bro. Making me hang out with this jackass. Now listen to me. I got a wager. I ain't having no monster measuring contest, bro. I keep telling you I ain't into that creepy shit. No! My jackhammer would crush the shit out of you, bitch! No, 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 no. I'm talking a fair bet. Calculated risk. What's on the line, then? You terrifyingly insecure midget? Well, how about everything Tony owes me? And I promise to get out of your life if you win. Yeah, that sounds too good to be true, bro. What happens if I lose? I get everything. You're rolling with me full time, hombre. Buddies for life. All or nothing, eh? Heavenly beast for a lifetime of being tortured by some hellish imp. Shit is tough. Calculated risk. What are you gonna do? Okay, so what are we betting on? It's a race, you fucking pussy. All around the city, only for serious high roller cats. Choppers, boats, cars, and everything in between. So all I gotta do is win that, and you out of our lives? In theory, yes. But that ain't gonna happen, dog. Cause I never lost a nothing in my old life. Maybe that's because I had a brother as pathetic as little B. Or maybe it is because I am the S-H-I-T, bitch. Yeah, you shit, all right. Now, if you do win, which you won't, you just gotta help me with one more thing, and then all your contractual obligations are released. Yeah, here's to that. But you're brilliant. I hate myself all the way to the bank. This is the multi-award winning, game-changing, life-altering, original... Yard. Oh, 
You have arrived. Let me see those chocolate grenades. This is where the shit kicks off. Yo, them little legs of yours, they're gonna carry you too fast. You have all been provided! Parachutes, boats, and cars! You will be airlifted to the start where you will race from one vehicle to the next. The first person to make it to the finish in middle park is the winner. Are you ready? Fuck yeah! Yeah, hey, I'm racing an orange midget. Why wouldn't I be ready? Three, two, one! Come on, Georgie. We're gonna stand 
pay for it. Lazo pay for it. No. Lazo has never paid for it. Girls give it to me. Expensive race for you. Bullshit, man. Someone must have sabotaged me or something. No, shit, no. I wanted to lose. You think ponies cash mean shit to me? I got other investments. Yeah, good for you, Tiny. So, um, do we gotta see each other again? I told you, Louie. One more job. I got some cars to procure, and you're gonna help me. Come by Brucey's and we'll hit it. Yeah, all right, bro. I gave my word. Trust me. Yanira Lopez. Please leave a brief message and it may be returned. Thank you. I know it's around here somewhere. Man, this town at night is horrendous. Drunk people, homeless people, no one's normal. What do they do? Cool, aren't you? It's me. Ah, oh, hello, baby. Hola, mami, ¿cómo está? Hi, hi. Yo, yo, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, man? Ay, Dios mío, mami, pero qué es esto? You're always taking care of the down and outs. Hey. Yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful thing, but you got to let him into the house. Aw. Oh. These are my boys, baby, just like you. <laughs> I watch them grow up. Yeah, well, apparently your boys and your real son got some work to do. So, ladies, we got to roll. Uh, Come on, let's go. Mm, 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 mm. Mrs. L, you still the best cook I know. Mm, mm, mm. Here you go, mommy. Take this, okay? Take care. I gotta go. Take okay? care. You take care, son. Dealing drugs, people getting killed, nightclubs. You take care. Go to school. We go somewhere. It's not too late, my baby. I mean, but you got it all wrong. I mean, it's not like that anymore. You know, I, I know good people, I know bad people, you know, but I know the difference. I mean, I know I made mistakes, but things are better now. I mean, how many times we got to go over this? If things are better now, then why are you always like this? Right, but you take the money, right? You take the fucking money every time. Get out of my house. All what right. choice do I have? I lost my job. Yeah, well, call one of your other kids, the one you ain't ashamed of. Come on, bro. Oh, yeah, chill out, bro. We're going out to Bohan, El. Got something coming up the humble for us. Romantic encounter with your eighth grade teacher. That's why there's Wallace. Wallace removes the anxiety that can often occur. Yo, man, you gotta let up on your mom. Oh, yeah, te oigo. But, bro, she rides me too hard, man. Hanging downtown made you forget who you is, El. What you mean? I mean, you a fucking Dominican. All Dominican mamas ride their e-hoes like that. You think me and Rika don't get shit too? <laughs> Damn right. Huh. And Rika's mama wants his ass to go to college someday. Fool who couldn't even spell SAT, let alone GED. I doubt he could even spell ABC. Only thing I can spell is D V D A. Uh, your sister taught me that. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, I believe it, bro. 
She was always a save the world, special needs helping type girl. Special needs to jump on my dick. What? You boys gonna tell me what's happening here? Yo, we doing some contract work. Getting paid to escort a shipment for some people. That gonna be some unruly shit, bro. We need us another set of eyes. A new season. There are gonna be too many people under our purview to cope on our own. And considering your experience as a man manager, we thought you the supervisor at two successful businesses. This is your forte. Okay, okay, enough of the flattery. I'll help you guys. This is the place. They're bringing the stuff in off that boat. We're gonna bring it up here to get in these cars. And all we gotta do is get them back to the heights. Easy peasy. I watch these guys up here. HL, check the dudes by the river. Looks like a serious amount of shit coming in. You think we'd be in for some serious time if 5-0 catches with this? Yeah, bro. Or a serious amount of heat if some stick-up guys hear what's going down. That, I'm nervous after last time, Luis. Can you look about to see we got no imminent danger? I'm on that shit.
Reloading! with them rich people. Thanks for your help, bro. Yeah, I guess my shooting was more important than my man management skills on this business trip. For real, we gonna get paid, bro. Give us a call, okay? Yeah, dude, let's hang.
Harry, but I don't think you need this no more. We good, yo. Let's roll out of here. Thanks, man. You still got something. You still a fucking psycho. <laughs> Thanks, bro. That means a lot. Surprise, surprise. The guy from downtown ain't completely worthless. See you later, degenerates. Be easy. You're getting jacked, girl. Get your nasty hands off of me!
shit. What? You gonna pay me my goddamn money like you said. I've been playing this goddamn saxophone. Walking with your ass for three blocks. Yes, you've been walking with me for three blocks because I need theme music, you moron. And something about a saxophone, he says, the streets. He says, I'm lonely, I'm gritty, there's a siren in the background, it's raining. I've just thrown up on myself. Should I play some jazz or sit on my pea-stained mattress and cry? Tie off my arm. Hey, Luis! Oh, Jesus, Margo! Fancy seeing you here. Don't tell me you were just passing through. Yes. When you suddenly decided the view was better from there? I knew you'd come. How? I'm sorry, Luis. Hey, don't apologize. I love keeping people from killing themselves. It's a weird fetish of mine. No. I mean, I'm sorry we can't be together. You can't have me. I don't want you. Now, come on, get down from there. Must be easy for you. Thinking of me as being crazy, it must help. Yeah, it does, actually. Either that or I'd think I was. You're not crazy, Luis. You're empty. You don't care about anyone. You're a shell. You fuck people and then you ignore them. That's easy. It's a game, isn't it? No, listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? Wait, just... I just don't want to marry you, okay? Maybe I am empty, like you said. Or maybe, like pretty much every man alive, I don't want to marry someone who's a complete psychopath. Okay, I don't care which it is. Just get over here, please. When I die, people will blame you. Yeah, either that or thank me. What? Nothing, nothing. Come on. Come on, get over here. If you love me, you'd save me. I don't love you. I've got a letter telling everyone that you pushed me. Come on, get over here. Save me. Oh, God! That's right, that's 
right. Martin Serious Joe back with another incredible round of telling everybody the way things are. Yes, the way things are. That's so true. Lisa God is in the details. In the details. He also appears to be in your breasts. Your breasts. Lisa today, they seem kind of perky and fresh. Someone have some work done, Lisa, huh? A little bit of uplift with your bonus, did we? Tell Uncle Martin. Tell Uncle This is a robbery. You're taking your workout to the line, but you're hot, sweaty, sore, exhausted. Your face is going numb. You're ready to quit. Athletes never quit. Now you can go longer like an athlete. You may not be an athlete, but you can drink like one. How? Through revolutions in nano-level high-performance electrochemistry. Electrolytes Extreme Sports Drink. If you don't replenish electrolytes as you work out, you could die. We analyze sweat scientifically with a microscope and gone deep into the electrolytic submolecular level. You need to replenish those electrolytes. What are electrolytes? Who cares? They're an extremely short supply, and we sell them. Look the part. Amen. Oh, oh look who it is! Jesus, you could not or something. I mean, my heart is beating 200 beats a minute. You almost put me in the hospital. <laughs> this is good blow. Here, give me some. Oh, I know. Oh, no. yeah. Listen, Gracie, tell your father. Tell him. Tell him you've been selling me coke. He will love that. No, 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 no. I don't mean that. I mean, tell him, tell him I'm okay. You know, tell him I'm on the up. Yeah, tell him if he needs a good fake tan or some hair gel, Rocco can hook him up. Oh, fuck off, Luis. <laughs> Try it, bro. I'll happily do more time for you. Oh, Louise, you always gotta act so tough. Just have a fucking line and chill out like me. You people. Louise is always such a buzzkill. <laughs> We're meant oh to be having God. fun here. <laughs> I'm having fun. I am. <laughs> Where's my fucking phone? This Coke is kind of speedy rock. Where's Tony? <laughs> he went out. You better not be spiking me with speed, Rocco. I will be so angry. Where I... did he go? Who? What is wrong with you, man? You are ruining my boss, Louise. Tony, where's Tony? He is over there. Oh, yeah, he passed out again. The guy's a fucking mess, Luis. Holding you back. He holds everyone back. No, he doesn't. Get up. No. Come on, yeah. get up. Get up, you has been no good 1980s throwback <laughs> relapse junkie fan! What's wrong with you, Tony? Get Damn. up, baby! Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, more shots! <laughs> oh, 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 hey, hey, hey! What guys? What, what, what's, what's going on? You tell me, boss. What's going on? What? Huh? Why'd you call? Uh, I don't know. Because of that thing, T. Come on, that sparkly thing. Wake up, you junkie fag. All oh, right, right. That thing. That shit. Right. That thing. Okay. All right, Louis. Uh, all right, we gotta go. All right, <laughs> ladies. Uh, have some fun. Uh, try to keep your septums all in one piece, huh? Uh -huh. Oh, ah, Jesus, man. <laughs> yeah. I feel like a camel shat in my mouth. Ah, oh, well, at the end, it wasn't fun. Here oh. we go. Oh no, 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 <clears throat> not again, not again. No, 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 no. Oh, Hold on, guys. I want to come too. Fuck off, Evan. This is work. It's not working out. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Bitch. Oh. <laughs> so anyway, 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 Sharon, I think I'm gonna sell my car. Oh my god, that is so funny! <laughs> Wait, what's so funny about that? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> 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 oh my god! <laughs> oh. For these limos, so we're gonna take them. I'll go with the driver and try to rebuild my psyche. Luis, you take Evan. Thanks a lot, though. You know we're heading to the docks at East Hook. What exactly are we doing, man? Listen, Luis, no offense, but I don't know how much I'm allowed to tell you. What you mean, Evan? Tell me everything you know. Really? I mean, how much information are you privy to? You're just a fucking driver, after all. Yeah, I'm privy enough to know that you're a piece of shit who's using Tony and you're only gonna be hanging around for two to three months before Tony moves on to another chunk. I'm privy to the fact that the coke in your nose and the roids in your veins are gonna send you worse out of control real soon. I'm also privy to the fact that you're gonna be some fat trailer park wing back in the Midwest before you hit 30. Now tell me what the fuck we doing right now. 
That attitude's not gonna get you anywhere, sweetie. You better say something nice to me. Tell me what's fucking happened. If you say something nice, I'll think about it. You can get Tony fucked up like no one else can, Evan. And nice enough? Aw, oh, sweet. Thank you, Louise. Tony is more fun when I'm around. What do you want to know? What are we doing going to the docks in Isu? We're buying diamonds. Two million dollars worth. Ay, Dios mío. Where did Tony get that kind of cash, bro? You don't know everything, do you, Louise? Yeah, I know that money can't be his unless he borrowed it. Where's it from? How the fuck should I know? I'm the looks, not the accountant. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You just stored the money. You don't know where it comes from. The money could be Brocco's, it could be Gracie's. Who cares? We're getting some ice, baby. Yeah, I don't like the sound of this, bro. See what I mean? Always so serious. Don't worry for once. Tony skimmed 10% off the agreed amount, so we'll have some spending money. Woo woo! Gonna hit the shops today, baby! Yeah, even fucking better, bro. Even better. Because, come on, you know this. Distrust. When was the last time it you talked to someone? 100 yards. Turn left. Then immediately left. Ah, you're being traced by government forces as we speak. Trying to... I think we're here. Glad to have you on the show. Shoot. Yeah, I want to talk about global warming. Global warming is a real estate hoax to drive up the prices of mountain properties. Hmm, you have arrived. It's a myth. You're excuse me. Hey, uh, what's going on? Uh, hey, well, right, what's, uh, which one is Mr. Tony? That would be me. All right, you got what we're looking for? You got the money? Sure, right here. Then, then I'll get the ice. Hold on. How you feel about this, bro? I think I need another fucking line, okay? It serves me right for leaving the party with you losers. Shut up, idiot. Tony, we cool? Uh, let's just get this over with. My head is killing me. My life has been reduced to this bullshit. So no, Luis. We are a long way from cool. But for right now, let's just see what the chef has to say for himself. Yeah, that's what I think. I agree. I got it, por favor. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, all right. This is them. Mm, mm, mm. These are great. Mm, they're great. But uh, two million. You had your head in the oven. Mr. Tony, I have what they tell you. Perfect clarity, beautiful clarity, well cut, and a shitload of carrots. What do you expect? <gasps> Tony, they're gorgeous. Mm, just like you. <laughs> hey, come on, can we do a hand over, please, and get out of here? This is too much. No. Ignore him. He's probably been up all night with some bimbo. Tony. <laughs> You're a chef. Well, come on. Yeah. I have a line on some kitchen supplies. How about I throw that into the equation? What's the price? Look, here's the money we agreed upon less 10%. Just give us the ice. All right, all right. Hey. Tony, can I hold them? Oh. Thank you. Oh, <coughs> thanks. <coughs> Oh, shit, Tony, we out of here. Come on, let's go. Kevin, take him to the club. And don't fuck about, OK? Come on. I thought you'd be an explosive expert by now. Get him. I'm staring them in the fucking eye.
Sad to say, but that might be the best place for us right now, T. Honey, we gotta get out of here. We lost him, Thee. I'll take you home. What happened to Evan? He went the other way with those diamonds. Probably on the next plane to Los Santos, if you ask me. He's not answering his phone. I'll check his bleeder. He's not gonna update some social networking site when a couple of dozen irate bikers are trying to kill him, bro. No one's that vain. Not even him. Ten men, 89 bleeded less than 10 minutes ago. Oh, I can't believe it, man. What's it say? Cornered by bikers? Ugh, ugh, ugh. Too young to die? They fucking got him! Jesus. Poor bastard. I know. Fuck. Poor Evan. He was a rotten human being. That's why I liked him so much. That fuck got himself killed. And a diamond stolen, I might add, because he needed to tell the internet about his problems. Oh, yeah. I can speak ill of him as much as I fucking want. That's the stupidest thing I ever heard. All right. It was a weird move, I'll give you that. But he's dead. Killed by social networking. He may have cheated on me and stolen from me and put his plastic surgery on the business credit card, but I like the guy and I'm kind of sad, okay? Well, I didn't like him. He's dead and he's still pissing me off. We just lost two million on those diamonds. Calm down, Luis. You think your boyfriend had just been killed? Well, then take your clothes off right now. Yeah, that's my line, you dumb twit. You have a you really think Evan's dead? I'm sure of it. He bleated, didn't he? I'm sorry, bro. Those diamonds are gone too, Lou. We're really in this shit now. We've got no more cards to play. What the fuck is going to go wrong next? Stay cool. And don't get too fucked up on those pills. Or that, Charlie. Or any fucking new shit. Hey, Evan ripped you off and he didn't get away with it. Look at it like that. I'll come see you soon. Sure, whatever. So long, stranger. Until you just blindly agree. I am the real deal. The real deal. Like your hair, Martin. Is it new plugs? Oh, if you weren't a black. Martin, I am unbelievable. Shocking. If what you said wasn't true, I'd sue you for harassment. I should sue you. I see you looking at me. You're only human. Of course you want me. I'm an attractive, hard-working everyman, but I'm also a humble genius. You want me, don't you, Lisa? Don't you? I want you, Mr. S. Aren't you supposed to be grooming your groin with a blowtorch? Yes, sir. That's what I told him. Hey, I'm all good, baby. How you doing, IT? Hey, Desi. Hey, what's up, man? What's up, man? Tony in? Uh, yeah, he got it a while ago. Very nice. Please, after you. ID. Okay, good evening, my friend. How are you? See, it's me. Yeah, it's okay. So I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Ladies, hide your titties. <laughs> You're late. Sorry, man. Something came up. No doubt. What's going on? I'm trying to figure a way out of this shit. I got a plan to keep that pair of chumps, Rocco and Vince, happy. Come on. I'll explain as we go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Just a quick hello. Quick hello. 
Gentlemen, my name is Tony Prince. Hope you're enjoying yourselves. Ray Bulgarian. Tell me, where are the women? <laughs> well, they're, they're everywhere. It's, uh, that one over there is a TV starlet. That one there is a model. And that one uh, there, I don't know, but I believe you just signed on with the Derriere campaign. How much? The fuck I mean? <laughs> no, 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 no. They're not hookers. It's just not that kind of club. Everywhere is that kind of club. You just need to know how much to pay. Yeah, well, listen. Uh, can I buy you a gentleman a drink? Cindy! Cindy, come here. Take care of Mr. Bulger in here. It's good to meet you. Please come back. Enjoy your night. My uh, right-hand man, Luis, will take care of you. Good night. Thank you. So, gentlemen, more drinks? Yes, please. Let's go. So, how's it going, gentlemen? The package is your boss. Sure. Was made for funny times at Bolestar. Hysterical, hysterical. Where does the call come from in this place? I don't know about that shit, man. I just make sure people don't get killed. How very boring. I prefer it when they do. You should come back on a busier night then. Normally it's wall to wall corpses by midnight. Yo, I like Target, not so much. Hey, hey gentlemen, thank you. Uh, Luis, we gotta go. Good night. Gentlemen. Jesus, Russian, richer than the church. Buy this place, end all our troubles. Yeah, nothing like Russian gangsters to bring a sense of peace and stability to a problem. No, oh, Jesus, what did I do wrong? Take us to Bahama Mamas. A baby that's slower. Liberty City area are having their oh, make it right sale. Nothing says love like a genetically modified plant. Now, Mama's is more Rocco style than our place. Tell me he's gonna start hanging out with all that bridge and tunnel crowd rather than us. Don't we wish? No, sadly, he just wants you to talk to a lady in there. Yo, T, I ain't heard of no lady for Rocco. They just want you to hit on her. She's an old friend of yours, Monique, from the Derriere store in Suffolk. Monique? Shit. After that thing with her roommate, I don't think that's gonna fly. What they want me hitting on girls for? They want you to get at her boyfriend. He owns a place, but he's in Venturis now. So I'm some fucking gigolo now? Perfect. I never seen you complain about chasing women before. Well, I've never been forced to chase them before. And broker. I saw the blood, and that is air. Do what you do best, partner. You ain't coming? You think having a past an old queen on your arm is some kind of aphrodisiac? Just try and forget it's a job. The day has finally come, T. You've become my pimp, and I finally lost my self-respect. Later, bro. Good to get some fresh air. Okay, That's right. right. No way, not tonight.
Excuse me. Don't let anybody in more. You better not say fucking word to this. All right, babe. Wish me luck, puppy. <laughs> Oh, baby, take it easy on me, okay? I had a long day. I'm gonna make you forget <laughs> all about that. Mm, I bet you. <laughs> hey, Nick, yo, shit. I think Serge wanted to see you on the Serge has got the night off. Come on. Wait, wait, hold on a minute. I'm gonna... Get the fuck out of my way. Boom! Big big. Fuck are you? Oh, Vic, Vic you, you were supposed to be in Ventura's. You are. I paid for those fucking lips, and this is how you repay me? Oh, hold on, I can explain. Wow. Hold on. No. 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 Yo, that's not cool, bro. You put your cock in my woman's mouth, and you think it's cool, asshole? Hey.
mom. This is the best thing you ever did for me. I love you too, stepdad Isaac. I mean, I, seriously, I love you. Uh, you know, I admit I struggled with... Luis! You got Rocco there? What you think? Is he there? What's got into you? Why are you so moody, Luis? You should talk to someone. Yeah, I get moody after I'm nearly killed, Tony. And that's happening a lot right now. Fuck! Monique's boyfriend wasn't a Venturis. The whole fucking club got shot to shit! Okay, I see why you're upset. Get some rest and we'll talk soon. You're keeping us afloat here, Luis. Is this really how I get my kicks? This, don't? don't freak out. He was an asshole. My guess is he was intending to steal them diamonds when the bikers got him. Okay, Evan was a conceited dick, a lowlife, a whore, a drug peddler, and a thief. He treated me like dirt. That's the kind of guy I like. You should start going back to the shrink, bro. Screw you. Anyway, that doesn't solve the diamond issue. Rocco's saying we owe him his share of the profits on top of everything else. This ain't good, man. But we'll find a way out of it. You've been in worse case before. Counting on your leadership. You believe those stories? Wow, I never took you for an idiot. I just pretended to know what I was doing. I'm a schmuck who got lucky. Shit, we really are screwed. Hey, Steve! How are you, mate? It's so good to see you. Yeah, it's Luis. <laughs> How are you, Daisy? You never call me. Sorry, Leslie. Yeah, I'm great, marvelous. Listen, have you got any coke? No, I'm sorry. Not to worry, I don't need it. I more or less stopped doing it now. I only do it at night now. It's so good to see you, darling. How is darling Terry? You mean Tony? I love that man. Just a shame, he's a pup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of people say that about him. Anyway, I thought you said you were going back to London. I did? Yes, I did. <laughs> I came back. I was actually just about to call you when my phone got stolen. <laughs> Don't worry about it. What? Well, I didn't know we were being filmed. But then your fucking hand job. Oh, fucking cunt. What's wrong? My fiance. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. What? Shit! You said that. Oh, my fiance. Fuck! Listen. Oh, when you say it out loud, it sounds really awful. And I'm not a slapper. A what? So, anyway, I was really drunk. But anyway, you know Chris Hunt? The gay action star? He's not gay. He's a virile man who takes an interest in personal grooming and likes gladiators. But. Yes, he's probably a bender. So anyway, I got off with him, ended up getting taped, 
And now he's going to leak it online to prove he's straight. Now wake up! <laughs> the classic blind beard. Oh, and if my fiance finds out, I'll be buggered. Oh, please, Make please, darling, I need your help. Fine. Oh, come on, let's go. Oh, I wish we had some coke. We need to find this twat. Fuck! You don't know where he is? He's always on that bloody bleater website. We'll wait till he bleeds, and then we should be able to find him. You're a rant about subliminal advertising. Show me that. His last bleed says he's taking a crap looking over Middle Park. We're gonna head uptown. Eight hundred yards. Turn right. Exactly, and we all know who taught them that. Yeah, they're okay. He's posted a bleat. What is he? He's bleated. Marcus asked me if I hang left or right, and I told him to find out for himself. What could that possibly mean? I think he's getting his inner seam measured at Taylor. All Chris's suits are made by that darling little man at Perseus. We should go there. Yards. He's getting his tailor to check his Johnson? And you say this guy ain't gay? All I know is I wanked him off, okay? I mean, you and I had sex, and you're a bit fruity, so it wouldn't exactly be a first. You say so. Oh, sugar, that's sweet, but a girl knows. <laughs> then maybe I've been hanging out with Tony too long. Or maybe it's you. Is your fiancé gay too? Is that like a fetish for you? Oh, Bertie's had some flings. But he's pretty much 70% hetero, as much as any privately educated Brit can be. Your private schools are like our prisons, then. I wouldn't know about that, sweetheart. But if you're speaking communal showers and anxious fumblings in the meadow, then perhaps. It's, it's, it's lovely to create that, that great westward expansion into realistic one city. Another bleat! Oh, bugger! Missed him, did we? Apparently his fingers haven't smelled this fishy since he last crossed over. Good for him. He must be at Squid Row, that budget seafood place. He loves smelling it there for some reason. Trains chugging in circles, creating a tiny mile community with a kind of... Yo, okay. Worst case scenario, the video comes out. You lay low for a while, maybe get a reality TV show. The new American dream. Perfect, sweetie. Just what I want. Mummy and Daddy would be so proud. Some other girls would kill to be in your position. Think of it that way. Enjoy the ride. Good for those tramps. I'm a respectable woman. I've had $200,000 spent on my education. Daddy's got a peerage. Ah, it was Babe of the Month, for God's sake. I don't want to be famous for tossing up some sodomite. Jesus, I need some coke. Fuck! Your fucking Spanish gave me some. I'm afraid not. You have that arrived. means I can't sleep with you. Huh? Uh, it would be like sleeping with my brother. Ah, ick, ick. We're, we're all related. We're all brothers and sisters, and that is just sick. Uh, it's Fucking cunting shit. He's posted another bleat. Apparently he's premiering his new movie in Star Junction. Star Junction it is, then. It's an activity workbook and learning tool for young people to learn the truth about how yeah. to survive. Yes. What movie is he premiering? I don't know. Something where he beats people up and pretends to be straight. Standard vibe with shit, then. Pretty much. They've always been like that, haven't they? Uh, this one calls me a psychotic bitch. <laughs> I know my message is getting across. Please proceed uh, to highlight it. I've done a lot of cable access shows. You yeah, have arrived. Ones. It's catching on. It. Well, well, the chapter on World War II. Okay, come on. Let's see where you can talk some sense into him. You cunting fuck! Hand over the tape! Too late, Dolly. You're gonna be famous. Check it! Oh my god! Is that my minge? He's ten feet high! You really just want to wank? <laughs> We're not twelve. Give me some digits too, baby. Three of them. Fuck, fuck, fuck! My life is over! Who's gay now, bitches? See you later, babe. Couldn't have happened to a nicer person.
coalition of disenchanted millennial workers is doing just that. Suing. They say the demands of managers who dictate they work without oh, fuck hours this. of internet surfing or three months of summer vacation like they're used to is unfair. And they're fighting back. Led by Sandra McCollin, who recently collapsed from exhaustion and her first job after college, which was paid for oh, by God, Alex. We'll track this story as it progresses. And now the hyphenated bitch with obesity news. Thanks, Jim. I'm Lori D'Angelo Stockton. A security guard from Los Santos is suing his doctor, claiming that the medical marijuana prescribed for his glaucoma... All right, Al! <laughs> Is it true that steroids shrink your balls, or were they always like that? Try not to catch any more infections, soldier. I'm not down with that shit, Al, can you head to the dance floor? I think there's something going on. I can hit the best, trust me. E ci piace la birra, le donne per le macchine. Principalmente le donne però, le macchine e la birra. Can you take a look at the VIPL? I see something on the monitor. is not trying to deal in our club. I'll be watching. I don't remember telling you to feel in here, folks. Why don't you fuck off? Pathetic little asshole. Interesting. Nice work, Al. Why you let this guy in in the first place? Nothing will. 
Don't worry, I was so wasted, I can hardly remember. Maybe he tasted of pretzels. That's one for the grandkids. Pussy feels naughty tonight. Who's pussy? She's right here. You ever fucked a famous person? Sure, like fucking a normal person. Only they look in the mirror all the time. Pussy's purring at me. You want to stroke her? Stroke yourself, babe. Go all out. Have a stroke. You're lost, Dave. Pussy's just going to get lonely tonight. Dave? Jesus. I'm sure you'll figure something out. Maybe call up the Navy. Don't worry, Puss Puss. Mama's gonna look after you. Mama's gonna treat you right. Shh, baby. Shh. It's wonderful to see how a life of privilege has kept you so normal, Chloe. I Desi, I got Chloe back to her place. I'm sure you were gentleman about it, Al. Head on back to the Masonette. Uh. Georgie, tell me, how does my picture look, huh? Is he capturing my, my brooding air and my romantic disposition? Helicopter landing pad. What? Hey, Al. It might be worth heading down to the VIP. I see something weird down there. No problem. Oh, fuck, man. What people got a 
gotta fight for. I'll be watching. Hey, that's enough. Go find somewhere else. Both of you are bad. Bitches to me. Don't mess with him. He's the manager. Keep him out, bro. E ci piace la birra, le donne, le macchine. Principalmente le donne, però. Le macchine e la birra, insieme no. Le donne va bene con tutto. These people are on coke, but it's discreet enough to ignore. Don't worry about it. like a bunch of homos, hell. They got it down. No, man. You've got to take me up to Prescucci University. Why ain't you come to see me at the theater yet? Uh, I'm sorry, bro. Theater ain't usually my thing. This play any good? I don't know, man. Might be. I ain't remember the performance yet. I didn't even think you were a theater actor, huh? Nah, everybody's gotta do this shit, though. First step on the comeback, bro. Make the motherfuckers think you're serious. Ah, you're gonna be all right. Blood sucking cocksuckers in their eight shows a week. Slaves work less than me. Oh, yeah. How long you been up for, man? You seem kind of wise. Three days, I think. Uh, it's kind of a blur. The day before the day before yesterday, I was banging some girl, and then I'm here, and uh, shit, I don't know. Yo, I'm getting some crank off an asshole up here. Can you help me out? No problem, man. Let me handle it. Lopez, what you doing here, bitch? I thought you was at the game. Oscar Gomez? That you, motherfucker? Shit, bro. I'd love to stay and catch up, but we need to pick up and go. Fine with me. Enjoy the high life. Fuck, we have a getting arrested. You bad luck, Lopez! And they busted us. Oh, Porsche, man. Let's get the fuck out of here. We're gonna fertilize you. You keep that up. Get back in there. Fuck this shit up. You're a wild, stunt driving motherfucker. What's the deal with this shit, Al? Can't you got an assistant to buy drugs for you? Who you take me for, Al? Bruce Spade or someone? The days of the assistants are long gone for me. I'm a fighter, man. I'll die on the streets. Start? What's the producer's gonna think if you get arrested on a school night? Fuck the producers! It looks like we're in the clear, Al. Sweet! Take me to the Amtram, bro! I got people to entertain! Please make a U-turn. We're safe. Please proceed to... What a ride, my brother! Bro, when are you and Tony gonna expand the operation device? We need you down there. We're having enough trouble maintaining the operation here, huh? I don't think we're ready to expand things. 
Ah, that's a shame, brother. Al feels your pain. You live in vice now, don't you? I went for tax reasons and stayed for my sanity. Sanity, bro? I'd hate to think what you'd be like somewhere else. Oh, I'd be a fucking train wreck, bro. Vice is the only city in the U.S. worth sticking in. None of this Los Santos bullshit or the Liberty Neurosis. It's fucking pure. I heard it was just all retired fosters and plastic party people. I hope you ain't implying that I fall into either one of them stereotypes, Al. Nah, bro. Of course I ain't. I'm implying that you fall into both. <laughs> It's brought a new meaning to media. You know, I... Thank you very much, my brother. There's a cop on the door whenever you want it. Thanks a lot, bro. I'll call you in a few days in advance so you can sober up for the performance. I do my best work when I'm three days into a bender. You don't want to see this shit sober, believe me. Burying your dead to their final resting place with dignity. So much dignity that in a few more I'm fucking crying. Even though she isn't properly divorced from my dad yet. I dealt with that big owl thing. You need me back? That we do. What was it, boss? Crisis of sexuality? Nah, oh, man. A crisis of just about everything else. I'll tell you about it some other time. The guys deranged. I'm about life. I mean, not like uh, like a protester, because I've done the other thing a few times, but I mean, we had to. She was young. But listen, if your love won't have. Thanks for coming, man. You ready, ladies? Phenomenal. As a reminder, next week, if management doesn't shut it down, we'll have our annual... Good thing your boyfriend got you that helicopter license, bro. These guys got a chopper all loaded with product for us to commandeer. I don't know what you're talking about, man. I ain't got a boyfriend. Sugar daddy, then. I don't care what you call him, Mel. I'm just happy he lavished them lessons on you. Because we all benefit. You ain't ever gonna get tired of those jokes, are you? Talking about the show rather than actually putting one on. Smithy, tell them how they can get their Todd stickers. Yes, Mr. S. Todd stickers are for take out your twat Tuesdays and Thursdays. When you put the Todd sticker on your car and women see the Todd sticker while they're driving, they'll mush those nasty We're coming up on them, yo. Oh my goodness. but also liberated and true. Going to the phones, taking calls, speaking live. Line three, Brianna, you're on the Martin Serious Show. Hi, Martin. I'm totally hot and wet for you. If I was here like you're doing this dumb show, all the things I'd do to you. You touching yourself right now? Are ya? You coming up here, you bitch! Yes, Mr. You lovely is pleasuring yourself. I want you to burn your pubic hair off with a blowtorch. With a blowtorch! No problem, Mr. S. Let's get this shit out of here while we can. Fire you. My hair is real. They just move something around with an egg beater. Marty, fire, you're unbelievable. Shock it. If what you said wasn't true, I'd sue you for the rest. I should sue you. Now. I see you looking at me. I'll rip your fucking face off.
Yeah, Estelle. That's why we need you. Don't waste all that money, guys. Please, call you soon. What's up, man? Hey, boss. I'm just wondering when you think you're gonna do a shift at the club. This place could do with that Luis Lopez magic. I'll try to put some time in soon, man. It's just been kind of crazy. Trust me. Look after things. It's me, Arnold. Thank fucking God I can see you. Thank you, God. Maybe you do exist. Uh, Arnold, what are you doing down here, bro? Uh, uh, well, we had a little incident. I don't mind when the girl play rough, but when the pimp come in and he plays rough too... Oh, la, 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 la. What happened, bro? I tell you, it is a bad combination. Chinese opium and Brazilian prostitutes. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, no doubt, man. I, I was just... Uh, Nodding off after a little bit of light after dinner bondage, and when the pimp comes in, he steals my wallet and gives me a good beating. <laughs> For watching too much television? <laughs> somehow, uh, somehow I feel my dignity is still intact. Wait a second. You're a guy who just enjoyed an opium laden threesome with some light bondage. How could your dignity ever be in question? <laughs> exactly, <laughs> my friend. Uh, well, maybe you can help me uh, get back the wallet. Hey, compared to the shit I dealt with today, okay, that doesn't sound so shady. <laughs> <laughs> so why the fuck you not? <laughs> I believe he is over on Bronco, my valiant Spaniard. You better not think of telling your mom. She'll probably just blame you. My drunk uncle, my drunk uncle. I have to sleep on my tummy. My drunk uncle, my drunk uncle. Why did he not just ask me for the money? If he needed it, we could have made an arrangement. Perhaps a little four-way. Maybe he didn't want to subject himself to no bondage. Light or otherwise. He was perhaps more dumb than sub, that's true. But surely being a pimp implies some perversity, or at least curiosity. Experience. Yo, don't worry, bro. We're gonna subject him to some shit soon enough. Life is an unpredictable thing, my friend. You don't need to tell me. Here's an example for you to digest. This morning, a delicious 22-year-old girl left her parents' apartment in Middle Park East. The only thing on her mind was buying a coffee. But uh, I made her a proposal. Soon, she was drenched in champagne, bent over naked in my hotel suite. Before 11 a.m., she was shoveling cocaine into her nose with a caviar spoon and begging me to give it to her again. And a few hours later, you were getting your ass beat by a pimp in Mohan. Life sure does twist and turn. Touche! I should introduce you to my boss, bro. You guys could party together. Ah, uh, perhaps on my next trip. Yeah, no doubt. If we survive that long, you're on. Driving off! Look at him!
test me? I'll have you better. I ain't having you double team on me. Come on. Come on. You're a valiant hero, Spaniard. Fight them, my friend. Their reign of violence has come to an end. this shit. You should stay down. Spaniard, I sell it you! You're lucky you're on the floor. It's World War III! I knew it! I'm gonna drop you around the corner, bro. It ain't safe here. Exactly, and we all know who taught them that. Yeah, their father. I constantly catch him smoking in the garage and masturbating. Here's what your wallet, you? bro. I'd stay in Afghanistan from now on if I was you. Things get rough out here in the boroughs. They do, and that's why I like it. It's your life you're playing with, bro. I just don't want to see you end up one of them deviant sex stories gone wrong, like one of them guys who strangle themselves trying to get off. A civilian like you coming out to the point is almost a suicidal. around here, but they won't kill you. Adieu, dear boy. It's been fun. It's, it's, it's lovely to create that, that great westward expansion into realistic 1 16th scale. A set of unstoppable progress in the air. The nation being born before it got lost in the mud of political correctness and that Thirty-two! Thirty-three! Thirty... Oh, come on! Ah, come on! One more! Come on! Ah, screw you, Mori! Why are you gotta be such a cock? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, fuck you, Mori! Fuck me? <laughs> fuck me? You can't fuck me, baby B. Name one thing you have ever been able to fuck me at. One thing! Huh? I lift more weights. I fly better choppers. I have better cars, I screw better women. Hell, I screw women. My bling ain't CZ, and my paper ain't a photocopy. What's up, Lou? So again, one! Hey, Maury, I got a side with your brother on this one, man. I mean, you're fucking annoying. I mean, I work in nightclubs, I hang out with gangsters. I meet assholes 24 hours a day. But you, you take the cake, man. Oh, jeez, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry that I'm trying to toughen up my little bro here. My little bro who I love more than life itself. And you think that you can interfere with that? You know, I think maybe you're taking the tough love thing a little too far, man. I mean, I got sent to juvie when I was 17 years old for shooting a teacher who felt up my sister. They tried the tough love thing with me. It didn't fucking work too well. So maybe try a different fucking approach. You know what? I think you might be right. Come on, baby B. Let's hug it out. Yeah? Let's hug it out. Okay! Oh, I love you. <laughs> I love you. I do. I love you. It's just the truth is I'm... I'm jealous. I am. I'm jealous. I'm jealous that, that you... are dating such a wonderful guy as Lou here. It's Luis. Whatever! I'm only kidding! Come on! Just... 
Jesus, you guys are a couple of pent-up queens, I swear. Come on, let's go have some fun, huh? You too, B. Come on, stop sulking. Jesus, you pathetic. <laughs> I love you, but you are such a pussy. Come on! Head up to the top of Middle Park, Lou. Here, take these headsets. Excuse me if I don't trust the various to think for yourselves. Hey, Brucey, bro, it's good to hang with you. I'm really happy you're along on this ride. Maury, bro, are you a-fucking with me? Come on, little V. Hey, what do you take me for? It's good to have Lopez along, too, right? Hey, the three amigos. <laughs> Yo, two men and a little cunt. Ah, <laughs> yeah, you hear that, Brucey? He called you a little cunt. Yeah, I wasn't talking about him, bro. Don't bring down the positive energy, Lopez. Me and my brother are having fun today. Yeah, man, we are. We should do this for often, bro. Oh, B, shit. Before I forget, there's this email that I got that I thought you'd be interested in. Oh, yeah? What's that? Oh, you see? It's this doctor. He's a fucking genius. Yeah, he says he's made this pill that is gonna sort out that penis problem you got. Nah. Fuck off, boy. I thought you were being cool, bro. No, no, I am, bro. I swear it. No, this guy can extend your hose by at least two to three inches. Hey, call me an asshole, but I'd be really psyched if my bro was back in a four-inch punch. How's that for cool? Shut up, Maury. The one thing you do got going for you is those roid ravaged beans in your sack. <laughs> Anything would look big hanging next to those peanuts, right? Huh? Am I right? Shut the fuck up, Maury! <laughs> oh, pathetic. You see this guy, Lopez? What did I tell you? Yeah, I don't know, bro. I tend to stop listening when you open your mouth. Remind me again what you paid for that place in Broker, Brucey. Huh? Oh, and a garage, too. How much did you pay? I don't want to talk about it. And, uh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. What are those properties worth now? <laughs> I said I don't want to talk about it, okay? Shit! You see? What did I tell you, Lopez? Overexposed like a stripper in Fleet Week. Only thing more useless than that little pecker of his is his portfolio. Ain't that right, Brucey? Hey, leave him alone, Maury. You're even more annoying than usual. He's a bit like you and Big Tone, actually. Hey, you guys should start a Debtors Anonymous circle jerk together. <laughs> yeah, you can sit around crying and hugging and talking about how you lost it all, huh? <laughs> yeah, at least we don't owe you shit anymore, Maury. Remember, that they got erased in that bed. Fucking genius. Ah, here he is. Let's go talk to the bitch. Hey, buddy, thanks for the tip-off. Here you go. Huh? Oh, thanks, bro. Hey, don't go spend that all in one place, chump. All right, people. Money talks, and idiots walk. Bro, uh, give me a car, will you? Push the button. Enjoy that shit, man. Wait for you, Louis. Come on. Let's see what you're missing. 
Started shitting his panties when the cop showed up. <laughs> hey, check it out, Brucey. You know, I think Lou here might be even slightly bigger pussy than you. <laughs> we're done, right? I mean, we're squared. You got your cars now, so now I don't have to sit here and listen to your tiny man bullshit. <laughs> sure, sure, Lou. Sure, sure, sure. You could go. If you're as dumb as you look. Ooh. Excuse me? You got an opportunity here. Look at me, look at me. Watch my lips move. I can teach you things. <laughs> Come on, think apprentice, think uh, intern, minion, yeah, think uh, squire boy. You, following me all around, learning to become a business mastermind. No more clubs, no more Tony Queen. You, my friend, could be free. <laughs> Maury, is this a joke, man? I mean, you're the guy that needs to learn something. Oh. Shit, you're awful, bro. I mean, maybe someone can teach you the most basic human behavior. Brucey, please, do this guy a favor. Brucey. Me? Well, what? you're the guy in the family with some manners. Whoa. You think that I could learn something from little B here? The marshmallow man. More. This pale piece of turd. All right, cut yeah. it out, M. Oh, the man is nothing but beyond right. pathetic. That's it, boy! Cut it out! Yeah! Yeah! Are yeah. you kidding? Yeah! <laughs> oh, oh! Oh, God! Oh! Yeah! What the fuck, man? What the fuck are you doing? Oh, oh, you know the rule. I'm, I'm sorry, Maury. Uh, I forgot, man. Never, never in the face. Oh, come on. This is this is top work up here. You know that I got a week in Zephtop. Okay. Oh, just, just, just don't tell mom, okay? <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay? Okay, okay, okay. You're going to take me home. <laughs> yeah, shit. Okay, yeah, shit. Come on, let's go. Okay. Okay, come on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Hey, I'll see you ladies later, okay? Yeah, uh... Uh, I'll see you at the club or something. Okay. I heard something. I'm sorry about this. See you there, T. Friend of 
my Mr. Yusef Amir. He let us use it because it's such a special occasion. This is a very grown-up gesture of yours. They thought it'd be just tit for tat from here on in. What do you mean tit for tat? You just started insulting us on your website. We ain't done shit to you. I'm not naive, Louis. The derriere launch, Masonette's fifth birthday, he left me off the list and was a deliberate snob. What you talking about, man? We never even met you. I was on the scene, Louis. Fuck it. I on the scene. Me. Wah. Leaving me off an list. it was a declaration of war. So I fucking brought it. Oh, yeah, you want the looting motherfucker, man. Having a website don't make you the scene. Not now, Lou. We're trying to charm him. So, it's time he asked, what's it gonna take to get me off your box? Excellent. Blackmail's a language I know only too well. Your problem is that you think you're operating in a vacuum. The blogs are just as important a part of the ecosphere as the clubs. Hey, right, the blueprint that you should follow. The celebrity creates taste. Does he now? I never thought of it that way. The stars, the designers, the club owners, they make your jobs easier by telling you what to do. It's a thankless task. Show a friend the sights, L. I'll take the controls. You really don't have to show me anything. I've vlogged every inch of this town. You know what? I don't think you ever seen Liberty City like this. What's it doing, Tony? Help! This is how we do uh, it for that, where I'm from. Uh, He's just a fucking blogger. I didn't be anything. Oh, oh, I think you're slipping. chance at life. You're a fucking miracle. <laughs> there you go. Oh, shit! <laughs> it kind of looks oh, like my. you had a little accident. Someone oh, might post a picture of that online. I feel like shit! you left me. Okay, T. He's an annoying little fuck, but I think we saw eye to eye by the end of it. He ain't gonna be giving us no smack talk no more. That's excellent news. We should schmooze these citizen journalists more often. It will be my pleasure. asking about cold cookers and corpses. Yeah, I'm sorry we couldn't accommodate. Punishment take you for the sensitive type. I'm spending some time here while I'll catch up with some old friends and I need help with some things. I'm told you are the man to talk to. Listen, man, I got a real busy schedule. This is not an opportunity you want to miss out on, especially as I hear that J. Tony Prince's ship is sinking. Yeah, I don't know where you heard that. Just come to my house. We will talk. Joe 
Stay calm, and you won't get hurt. Want to stop aging? I'm really into this nature motif at the moment. Maybe I should get a satin jacket with a tiger on the back so that the ladies know exactly who they're dealing with. Yeah, like tigers, I'm an endangered species, you know? And I would chase her if it weren't for you, Laz fans, because I know you deserve more than me running after some ass. Running after some jogger in the park, which I know I could bang. Impregnating she rhinos, conquering the world, a massive horn. I really need to spread my scent a little right now. And by that, I mean pee. Jesus, I've been standing out here for ages. It is impossible, let me tell you out there uh, in Radio Land, it is impossible to find a place to pee in the city, and the fascist shops won't let you use the bathroom unless you buy something. Which is why I like to do as the true locals do and just piss in the street. Yo, Mr. Bulgari here. I don't care hey. if he does want to sell. I want to buy. How much would you offer the last time? Double it. Offer 20 million, and then we see if it is not for sale. If this Banking is not hanging on my wall. Your hat will be. Okay? Think about that. You want I should pay visit to his children at their school? Not yet. I think there's always a prize in this city. Oh, Louis, excuse us. We have been rude. Don't worry about it, man. I like the setup here. These guitars are all collector's items. Celebrity rock memorabilia. Okay, man, good for you. Got a nice place here, Mr. B. That is piece of shit. I bought it for my sister. Hey, you bring me to this fucking country, and you keep me in an ugly cage. No one on TV lives in fucking Duke. Then you come and move all my stuff into hallway and fill place with fucking guitars. Shut up, bitch. Take your pills. A friend of mine is here. Ha! You don't have... You don't even have a business here. You are nothing in this My country. sister. She's still getting adjusted. We all are. So how can I help you? Fuck you, Ray. You have ruined my life. Yes! Yes! <sighs> a difficult situation. It seems I'm being investigated by the National Office of Security Enforcement. There is a particular unit that has a hard on for me. And why? Because Mark Yashwili won't sell me the rampage. You'll get rid of them. I will own this fucking team. Hey, the problem ain't just gonna disappear over here if we kill some crooked cops. Leave that strategizing to me. If the money tells you to cut your fucking legs off, you'll do it. Because the money is better than a fucking leg. The money is making the plans. That's the American way. All right, man. Thank you. I like you. I make you rich. I make you man. Maybe I'll make you a man with one leg, but <laughs> I'll make you a rich man with one leg. There is this team tracing a cow mine. Take out the whole team. No exceptions. Okay, man, if that's what the money wants. You're a bright guy, Luis. I still like you. You made a good choice coming here. Bag man, no good. Go! Roll the bitch! Ting! 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 
Take us to the basement parking lot in the middle park test. You will need these sticky bombs for the party. I ain't gonna take you up on the bomb offer, because I got my own. But I will take that advanced MG you got there. It's good to have you with us, Louis. Yeah? Yes. It must be nice for you to get out from the I'm the big party. I don't know what you're implying, bro. Tony and me are partners. I got a stake in the Enterprise. <laughs> a stake, sure. You still take orders from him, don't you? You clean up your shit. Look, it could be much more than that. Unless you enjoy working for such a man, partner or whatever you call it. Really, bro? I don't know. When I was left to my own devices, I got locked up. At least with Tony's guidance, I ain't doing time. Perhaps, for now, perhaps. But do you think you're achieving everything you could? A man with your talents, in your condition, you could have anything you want. I didn't get to where I am without being able to see the worth of man. That's real flattering, Mr. Bulgari. But whatever it is you're offering, I'm gonna have to decline. Me and Tony's is a business relationship. He gets his kicks elsewhere, but he's been a good boss to me and a good guy. Help me out. I'm not a fucking faggot! Whatever you say, bro. But what are you talking about? I was saying that I may be interested in investing in your potential. And tell us what? As a businessman, I am looking for someone here in Liberty City with the correct relationship. I already got one employer. Like I said, he's been good to me. Of course! But what is he? He is a drug addict, a madman. You are useful to him, but you think that is all he wants from you. <laughs> when some new muscle-bound pretty boy comes along, he will forget about you and your precious stake in the Tony Prince Empire. Whatever, bro. Can we talk about something else? What am I doing here? You are helping me with my business. This don't seem like legitimate business to me, man. Nothing can be achieved here in Liberty City with actual things rooting through my affairs. For anything to happen, they must be eliminated. Okay, man. You really can't buy these people off? Sometimes a price is more effective if paid out of land, not gold. This is the first lesson I will give you. Okay. Hey, man, what's up? What do you mean, what's up? Where are you? Look, man, I, I'm taking care of some personal business. I'll come see you later, okay? I'm cracking up here, Luis. Hurry the fuck up. How long are you gonna be? I don't know, man. I, I, I gotta go. Your master calls? Yeah, man. I see. And does he know that you are here with us? No. Interesting. I guess so. They love me in there. Last time I was there, Go down into the garage. Optica over there. We're taking instruction from so-called superiors, but we do understand if you're not happy, sue someone. Place a bomb out of sight. We will hide here. These guys are all crooked, huh? Mark has this in his pocket. This news team is in charge of half the drugs running in the city. Do not let your conscience worry you. Now, Luis, we see you at the end of the South. Don't worry about me. I prefer we weren't taking on the National Office of Security Enforcement, but that's a different matter. Be quiet. They are here. I see the target car. Let's set up this Russian and get out of here. Detonate when they are near the car. Go, 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 go! Now is the time. Going.
so fucking funny, man. I'll get you. Oh, oh, I bring you down, you I'm glad I did on my dad. My sister house! <laughs> excellent, excellent! Marks and Sackers burn! I still have smell of meat in nose. Bro, it's true! You are one who blew them up! That you did, Lewis! A serviceable job! Most competent! How'd I get myself into this shit, man? You didn't get yourself into this? I choose you! I pick you out because I see potential in you. You're lucky to be here. Yeah, great, thanks. But if you need more cops taken out, crooked or otherwise, you ain't choosing me. Look at this. The sensitive, modern American male. You need to go home and exfoliate your bolts. May as well cut them off. What the fuck is this? I don't like killing government agents, so I ain't got no balls? Give me a break. Okay, calm down. We got no more law enforcement to expand. For now. Those were the only guys smack ahead of us. You think he will sell? He has no choice but to sell. We have taken away his protection. It's that simple, is it? It should be. Maki is a weakling. He lives here in exile, like all cowards. 
but he has been here for a long time, so he has brought connections that others of us have not been able to acquire. This little trip should have severed a good deal of those connections and will give others involved a pause before they continue their association. Okay. Perhaps I will buy clubs of you as well. You sell them to me? Them clubs is levers to the max already, man. I don't know if there's anything left to sell. I don't care about other investors. They will forget about debts if I am involved. Some of these investors aren't the type to go away. They aren't the type to pay off either. Anyway, it's not my place to sell them. I have a stake, but Tony's got the controlling share. Ha! Ah, ah, of course! Tony pulls the string and the little puppet man dance for him. Let me know when Tony next has hand up your ass and when Trilloquist, Dami can talk. Fuck, man. What's wrong with you? Your stake is bullshit. You think you run the club, but you are still just security. You are Tony's gimp and you won't admit it. It's not like that. This what you want to do your whole life? No, but seriously, bro. I have opportunities for you. Think about them. Think about what I said to you. The offer will not be there forever. Okay, I will. Send my regards to Big Tony. Let's try to get moving! <laughs> Sure. Can I get you anything? A drink? Oh, something stronger. Huh? I'm cool, bro. You know how to play the drums? We need a fucking drummer. I ain't your man, bro. Sorry. You Spanish have the rhythm. Give us a fucking beat, man. You don't drum, but you dance, don't you, Luis? You dance. I can dance, man, but not with you and him. That's a shame. You dance, Mr. B. Money doesn't dance the money. Doesn't dance, my friend. Okay, but you need some work done. Wait, wait. Listen. Ooh. Ah, this is it. This is it. Ooh. Hey, can you ask the ape to stop playing for a second? You want I should stick $50,000 guitar up your ass? No, but I got some friends I can introduce you to if that's how you get your kicks. Oh, funny guy. All right. All right, okay. You have heard about Liberty City. Rampage. The owner still will not accept my offers. I have been more than reasonable. You mean after you killed this special team of cops? It's weird. You want me to negotiate with him? No. The time for negotiations over. Do what needs to be done in his boardroom. Send a message. Hey, I ain't a hitman, bro. I mean, I'll fight anyone, do whatever. But I ain't a contract killer. The officers are in the me TV buildings. Yeah, then it will not be easy. You'll have to find someone else, man. I mean, it's not my thing. I ain't qualified for that shit. I'm sorry. I wasn't discussing your career development. I was telling you what to do. No! Fuck off and go! Поехали! Wait for me! When he at the Maginot Theater, WTF. We go to Eleport in Fish Market South. Featuring two dorks, an underage girl, and a lonely pervert from Minneapolis that come together in a tale that... Hey, I'm sorry to break up your party, man. You look like you were having fun. 
Mr. Ray wanted me to keep watch on you. Make sure you do at all. Hey, I don't need no watcher. Mr. Ray think you do. Shit. You think I won't be here? Whatever. Okay. So? So fucking what? So, what's up, bro? Fuck off. Chill, man. I'm just trying to converse with you. My job is hospitality, Your and... job is kill Marky Ashley for Ray Bulgarin. Damn bro. I like to think I can talk to people. I try to put them at ease. Make them open up. Sure. They open up when you shoot in their head. You put people in the ground, my friend. You killer like me. That's what Bulgarin want you to do. So that's what you do. Hospitality is for weaklings. You're hard work, bro. Fuck you! You are hard work! Don't even know what you are. Hey, I know who I am. Sure I do bad shit, but that ain't who I'm gonna be forever. <laughs> I've heard this before. Fuck off! You want me to shut up? Good. Good. Great. Total fucking silence from here on in. Some people skill, bro. You're sorely lacking right now. Hello, Truth Seeker. You're on Conspire, and you know the drill. Hey, John. Big fan of the show. I loved you since I heard you told us the fact that the Library of Congress keeps a secret vault containing a cat. Not a word. Someone is on roof. You should check it out. This shit die now! We have him now! I'm gonna shoot this bitch in the balls! Oji, I'm inside. Every day. 
Not his fucking hitman, okay? That's not why I'm hanging with him. I am sorry, Mr. Hospitality Man. You do what Mr. Ray says. That's it. I see you soon. Stick your guitar up your fucking ass. taking home a large, needy girl from the bar late at night. That's why there's Mollus. Hey, I don't want to fight you! Do 
Dios mío. Forgive me, mommy. What? What? Fuck the lions! They're cattle, they're sons of balls! The one that ain't want extinct! What kind of cowler has a guy sticking his tongue out in the middle of it? Yourself. Hey, Luis! My man! What's things, bro? Yeah, not that great. My father, he is a very passionate and angry and very disrespectful man. But listen, can you come and meet me at the construction site? I have something to discuss. Yeah, okay, man. I'll try to come by. So you are overcompensating. Knock him dead. I see something weird on the dance floor, Al. Can you check it? Can you take a look at the VIP, Al? I see something on the monitor. No doubt. Be there soon. They all seem to be enjoying themselves. the true liberty. 
Liberty City, like Star Junction, where the action is. To really experience the city, you gotta interact with the locals. In the tourist areas, the really cool areas, not like the ghetto places with restaurants you never heard of. Yo, kids, get in. Star Star Kang Screamer, bro. Thank you so much for the ride, dude. Yeah, thanks a mil, homie. It must get weird being mauled like that. Nah, bro. We'd be mauling them back, too, if you catch my meaning. There's gonna be chicks at Maisonette? Should be, but I don't know if any of them are gonna have an elf fetish. Hey, Bobby, remember when you were about to F Star Star CK that girl and she was like, Bobby, what about your promise ring? Oh my god, that was hilarious. I was like, I promised to bust open your ring piece, you silly B Star Star CH. That was so funny. Do you mind if I use that? Go for it, bro. Give me five. Call the helicopter to come take you home, Georgie. Listen, I'm not Here it is. I say have fun, but the girls ain't on the reach. So it may be a challenge for you. Don't worry about us. Thanks for the ride. Hey, you ever need anything? Give our mom a call. She handles our S star star T for us. Welcome, gentlemen. It's a pleasure to have you here. We're all big fans. With girls, right? Yeah, we're not gay, are we, Georgie? No. My landlord makes me pay rent in cash. All right, Al. Baby, oh no. Don't forget about me. I see something weird on the dance floor, Al. Can you check it? Don't be late. kick someone out for being a douche. We cool here. Luis, minor emergency, please come straight to the office. I got the call. I bet you did, you asshole. You come running for work, but for anything else. You want some attention? Is that what you want? How's this for attention? If it's not designer, I don't wear it. There's a guy way out of control down here. Put on a show for me, Al. I love it when you act tough. You seem kind of drunk to me. And the girls are stupid. I don't want to see you again! That's why you the boss, boss. Suave this. But it's discreet enough to ignore, don't worry about it. Louis, man, we got a celebrity pick 
Hooker. It's Bruce Spain. He's up in northern Algonquin. Fuck me. Why can't we just send a driver? Tony wants to send a helicopter, because Spain's such a big shot. Electro and he said that you were the only one he got flying lessons for. I knew they'd come around and bite me in the ass one day. Awesome. I'd go if I was a qualified pilot. You know that, man. Fuck off, D. The place that we're in front of right now is called Amazing at Nine. Hi. Hi, excuse me. Uh, this is the press. This is this radio show. It's Integrity 2.0. My radio show. Uh, my name's probably on the list. It's, it's Laszlo. My, my assistant called ahead. I don't see you on the list. Have a good night. You guys should try Bahama Mamas. That's your kind of place. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Come on, bro. You need some celebs in there. And you've got one right here. I'm sorry. Not after last time. You know, if I was Shit. Oh, you've got size, but I've got speed. I know martial arts. Right, Georgie? Yes, that's right. Georgie's seen me bust some mad moves. Like kung fu, like jump up in the air and everything slow-mo. Slow-mo. That's right, slow-mo, bitches. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, fuck it. Come on, Georgie. I'm not gonna stand here and get laughed at by a, a bunch of vapid bitches. Look, everyone. He's Lazlo. Lazlo, he's Lazlo. Lazlo, no get in. No, I'm not asshole. I'm an entertainer. There's a big difference. That, that place is over anyway. Let's go to Bahama Mamas, man. They love Mr. Spade, I'm here to take you to Mason at night. Get in. But, uh, not, that, uh, not that old Laszlo ever has to pay for it. Laszlo paid for it. No, Laszlo has never paid for it. Girls, give it to me. I never asked for a helicopter. I seriously cannot abide heights. Say what? Say something. Help me! Help me! Shut up, bro. And you know what's also embarrassing? Bad embalming. Remember, people, if you die, Isaac Hammerstein and daughters. Go lower! That's an order, pal! Freaking out ain't gonna help nothing. And trust me, when they say daughters, they do so to let you know they aren't pets. I mean, seriously. I'm going to faint! We're gonna be there soon, man. You know, something interesting, lonely, that that kind of thing. Isaac this wasn't the deal. I thought you were flying low. Ugly. That word isn't enough. There needs to be a new word to describe them that means so ugly that there's an earthquake and mirrors crack. And, and Cheer up, it? BS. You're getting special treatment. It ain't off when we get to land these things outside the club. You mind me asking what you're doing up in the middle of nowhere? I've been working on a credit card commercial. There's this amazing young director shooting it. He is truly one of our greatest talents. So you're making commercials, but you're not selling out? Exactly. Not at all. It's all about the work and the art and integrity. A lot of integrity. This is a green chopper, right? I only travel in carbon neutral vehicles now. I don't know, man. It looks like we're causing some major gas, but I ain't running the AC or nothing. That's fine. I'm sure that's great. I really care about the environment. It's my passion. All the toilet paper on my private jet is totally organic and part recycled. Utilize completeness and all that stuff. There's so much crime here in Liberty City. I really wish I had more time to raise awareness, but I'm so busy with peace in the Middle East and world hunger. Man, people just need faith, not be normal cynics. That's a shame, bro. I'm sure your grandstanding can make a real difference here. Totally. Maybe I'll set up an urban shingle through my canyon deal. We'd make movies that are, like, gritty and real. This violence wouldn't exist if people had a voice. And some education, and health care, and getting past society's systematic neglect. Yo, I'm sure the shingle is the answer to all their problems. I'm going to call it spade joints. It's really going to change things. I'd rethink your wording, bro. People might construe you as a racist. I really love what Tony's done at Masonette. It's so precious for people like me to have somewhere they can feel normal, ignore the others, and find meaning. Yeah, it must be great to be surrounded by those with similar levels of self-obsession. Masonette's a total oasis from the camera's glare, shelter from the media maelstrom. I can talk to people about real issues and my art. People really listen there. Coked up models love that world peace shit, bro. It's what they live for. 
Here we are. Enjoy your night. It's been a real pleasure to meet you, pal. If we all keep doing our part, the world's gonna become a better place. Sure it will. Mr. Spade, it's a great honor to have you here. Enjoy your night. Assholes, you really fit in. Excuse me, asshole. You're getting robbed. You're partying with some friends. After three days of smoking ice and swapping partners, a man's got to get some shit. What's up, eh? Let's hang out, man. Round up H for me. Downtown starting to lose his sparkle, eh? All right, come pick up your old friends in the next two. Tight, bro. It's gonna be like old times. Call one of our claim representatives immediately, and we'll deal with the law and forensics and get rid of any unfortunate evidence or unwanted allegations. You've just lost a home and some close friends. Big insurance because you're in the piece of paper. the highlight of my day. They like real people only without the humanity or sense of humor. And that's why we love them so. How about this? From now on, I get someone else to handle the VIP shit. No more ass wiping? That sounds hot. If you still want to help Desi out with the management stuff, that's great. But no more celeb whispering. I'm real happy, though. I'll catch you soon. I was a dwarf star and now I'm fucking supernova. <laughs> so, everybody, uh, welcome Integrity 2.0. After a few weeks off the air, we're back. We got funding. I want to say, seriously, uh, a, a quick moment. Thanks, Mom. Money's rotting in your 401k. The financial district screwed everybody in this country. Investing hey, L, let's go. Good to see you, bro. Would you hurry One brick at a time. Today, Liberty City. Tomorrow, reach around. <laughs> I love you, Mom. This is the best thing you ever did for me. And I love you, too, Stepdad Isaac. I mean, a wrecking machine. Good to be hanging with you again, L. Cool, man. You too. Just like the old times. Yeah, only I hope for better results. Maybe this time, I can avoid a bid in a correctional facility. Here we go again. Blah, blah, blah. Put on a new record, DJ. Excuse me? What? Now you're gonna get all on my face and I like the hard man, huh, son? Listen, that faggot cage fighting bullshit may work with a bunch of Russian models, but shit don't mean nothing up here. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Oh, shut up, both of you. You're both as bad as each other. They're fucking bitches, always complaining and shit. All I'm saying is that it's cool to hang out. And you gotta both act like a pair of fucking women. Fair enough. Sorry, H. Yeah, sorry, H. And he's right. It is good to hang out. Okay, let's see what you got, Captain Downtown. Yeah, let's play some fucking golf. You trying to fade that bitch? They have some wine, huh? Ain't no stopping me. I got the magic touch. Do it, bitch! Gonyo, yeah. I'm 
want to roll, baby. That felt good. That's respectable. Check me out, yo. I planned that shit. There's the one! I got some improving to do. Come on, bro. I like that. Who'll be better? Bro. You see this shit? Check me out. That's sweet! Watch and learn. Stop it. I got the magic touch. Do it, bitch. Motherfucker, that shit right there. I'm on a roll, baby. I planned that shit. That felt good! Check that, bro. Check me out, yo. Smell my dog. There's the one. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Come on, bro. Check me out. I like that. I 
I hope you learn your lesson. Rich man's game. Of course you won. Drop us off if you had enough, bitch. You hurried up. Still up for hanging out. It's all good, man. It's just a car. No, you animals, stop. Please make a U-turn. We left A, bro. We gotta go back for him. Usually at a really inconvenient time. Calculating two stone to drive. Get them. Please make a U-turn. Bring dignity to a difficult time at new. Session prices, and maybe then old Isaac can join your family. <laughs> I'm just joking. I, I, I love you, you old guy. Please, bro, go kill him. Turn right. Straw sucking the brain out of my skull and replacing my bodily fluids with toxic chemicals, so a bunch of assholes can sit around and Please pretend to cry to like they cared about room. me. Nobody cares about me. Um, Let's grab a bite. Excellent fast food. Nothing like rat meat to really fill you up. Oh, I just love that shit. Please make a U-turn. Where's like how things are merging these days. He used to go to Clucking Bell, and that was great because you wanted to eat a bucket of chicken and then go home Turn and cry. Left. And then you said if only Clucking Bell and Burger Shot were in the same place, I could enjoy both at the same time. In so two hundred like, yards. Turn like a right. Stop? Like, if the world was a giant food court, we're making radio. A giant food court. And out in the parking lot, a man will kidnap your daughter. That's life on the open road. In ten yards. Turn left. Why would I kill my sister? But anyway, we're taking on a team of... Don't crash this shit! Not in cash, but in exposure, experience, a degree in the University of Laszlo. This sounds like an awesome t-shirt. University of Laszlo. Eight hundred yards. Turn to the, the show's new intern, assistant to the producer, Jorge, uh, but I call him Georgie Boy. It's Jorge. Georgie Boy is what liberals call an undocumented worker. <laughs> but he's my little buddy. Aren't you my little buddy? No. Uh, Jorge the intern. Let me ask you, if you die of sunstroke outside a hardware mega store waiting for work, uh, where would you like your body to be taken? El Salvador. Right. El Salvador, which is Spanish for the savior. And who is our savior? Isaac Hammerstein and Daughters Funeral Services. Correct. They saved this show and In my career. 50 so yards. let's get to it, Georgie Boy. Turn right. right. Whatever. What I need you is an interest to bring me ideas. Okay? I be funny. I, I am funny. funny. I get all the credit. That was fun, L. Let's hang soon. See you soon, bro. Go hanging with your idiots. In Nicaragua. Nicaragua, which is a company that sells sponsors. Oh, you. So Integrity 2.0 is more than just a radio show. We're a radio show that walks the streets of Liberty City, feels the pulse, see if it's if it's dead. You know, like you sometimes do. How's it going? Put that away right now.
attention. Wake up, wake up now. I'm your only friend. This is your first nightmare, and it's all true. Destroy your social security number and erase it from your memory. And forget your name as well now. <clears throat> Regarding diet soda, abstinence kills. It kills our ideals. At one time, having a large family was celebrated in this country. Now, if you have 12 children and eight wives, people look at you like you're some kind of freak. Do you know how many kids I've got? Uh, no. Exactly. You don't need to know. Don't profile me. Don't talk to me about... Hey, Tom. What's happening, bro? Besides my life falling apart in front of my eyes, not much is happening, bro. Someone told me they saw you driving around with some Russians. What the fuck are they? You've gone over to the dark side? Really? That's funny, man. Your friend must have been mistaken. Okay. Of course. Shit. The stress is really getting to me. Calm shit down, T. And don't take it out on me. I'll be by soon. Take care of yourself. Oh, yeah. Give me that one. Finally made up your mind, I see. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You motherfuckers think you're too good for these? And life won't seem so strange. They are taking you in the front and in the ah! rear. That's a miracle. Jay, I'm I said love the initial. What's on your mind? Contrails, John. How do we know when we see a plane flying over and leaving these clouds behind them that it isn't biological or chemical agents being sprayed? I mean, if you live in a poor area, they fly over and leave these vapor trails full of government chemicals to make you pregnant. I know. Yo, hey, man. Hey, man. Tony inside? Uh, yeah, but can I speak to you for a minute? No, not really. No, it'll just take a minute, man. I really need you to speak to Tony. I did, and you can't move to Mason. Then. No, 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 man. Not that. Not that. Guess what? I'm going to be famous. Seriously. So? 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 Are you insane, man? What else matters? The production company here, man, belongs to one of the guys. They are going to make a show about me. Me. I mean, they were going to make one about this Puerto Rican guy in Bohan, but he disappeared. Now, they're going to make a show about me. Bro, <laughs> you spend every night standing here in the exact same spot. It's very stressful, man. But it's got it all. Think about it. Drama, action, sex, love. It's got everything. And they're all going to shoot it through the eyes of, of, of a tough guy with a heart. Yeah, I'm sure. And it sounds all like fantastic entertainment. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got to get back down to work. Okay, if you could excuse me also. Hey, 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 hey. Did I say yeah, next? You said I was next, man. You hey, listen, man. Get you back in line. You said I was next. Yeah, you know what? We're full. Fuck you. You said I was What's up, T? Oh, we're getting rich here. Look at this place. Some of you rich, happy queens spend their hard-earned money, huh? Man, what went wrong? My day, gay guys used to be lonely, needy, and lost. Now, they're all in relationships, learning how to cook. <laughs> Man, therapy's got a lot to answer for, huh? Where's all the self-loathing gone, huh? <laughs> well, who do you want me to kill, boss? Oh, fuck. A lot of people. A lot of people. And where the fuck is Gracie, huh? <laughs> She's supposed to meet me here. Yeah, fuck her, man. Fuck. Oh, shit. We gotta go make ourselves rich. Because, after all, the nightclub trade is not what it used to be. What's going down? Those diamonds. I heard that they were sold soon at the Libertoni, of all places. Thought we could go down there, put in a low ball bit, and pick them for ourselves. Huh? Nice. So let's go. Ah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe I should handle this one on my own. Please. Okay, you just sit tight, wait for Gracie, and uh, I'll give you a shot when I get back. John, yeah, I'm not on drugs, man. I know. I know. I'm not on drugs. My favorite dude, Luis. What's up? Oh, yeah, Yusuf. I can't chat right now. You mind if I borrow your chopper? Which one, man? I got a fleet. A special one. The one with all that military shit. The buzzard? Of course, bro. It's practically yours anyway. Ah, you love what I've done with her. She's over at my pad on the West River. Thanks, bro. Turn right. WKTT 1060 
Turn left. Ark over at prisons being built in the desert is a secret fraternity controlling world leaders who really runs American banks. And the secret... Gold, Yusuf? That ain't conspicuous at all. of course, is not my real name, as we show you who and what really runs your world. And also get an amazing report into the reality behind game shows and how they were used to fight communism, and a look into how the electric car was, in fact, invented before the internal combustion engine way back in 1890. It's going to be another great show, if they don't take me off the air. I fought big business, I've attacked media conglomerates and liberal elites. John Smith. You know how things are. No problem. Let's do this. Okay. Let's see the stuff, gentlemen. Maury, come over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Since we're having a little show and tell, let's see some money. Of course. No problem. There it is. Beautiful, huh? Unmarked bills. No history, no need to launder. Good. Nico, show him the stuff. Get in there, Maury. Isaac, look at them. Gorgeous, huh? Like condensed money. Isaac, these are great! Oh. Rest of you motherfuckers wanna die? Do something stupid, okay? Fuck you! Just get the shit, man! Come on! Wait, wait, wait. L listen, if you get me out of here, I promise I'll split this with you. Can you do me a favor and not take this too personally? What? <coughs> These were stolen from us first, bro. River. I'll be there soon. All right, I'll try and sober up. Yeah, great. Try and do that for me. Bruce, I better ain't sit on their ass. Yeah, man. I learned the ancient art of understatement from you. 
Here are those rocks. Try to hold on to them this time. Thanks. They'll go straight to safe. Yeah, sure. Right next to the emergency aid pole. I'll see you soon, T. Lending me the buzzer. Love what you've done with the paintwork. Real subtle. Stealth attack shit. That's what I do, motherfucker! Sneak up on them bitches. Hide in the fucking sand. Then, ow! I'm a cobra. I'm a cobra in the sky. Flying with my cobra wing. I'm the executive flying cobra. When I stick my tongue in you, you know you've been poisoned. Uh, uh, I'm glad there could be a resistance anyway. Well, exactly. Thanks. Yeah. I appreciate it. This is self-actualization now. Yeah. Advertising is right on the money. Look at what it's doing to our children, especially with tobacco. You can see someone masturbating on a packet of Brentwood cigarettes. It's right there in the design. I catch my kids smoking all the time, and they're masturbating while they do it. Society that sometimes we just don't want to know the truth. Like how they say syphilis is man made. No man ever gave it to me. That came from a woman I met at the perfume counter at a department store. Is this really how I get my kicks?
nigger! Would you shut the fuck up, man? What's wrong with you? Oh, yo, yo, easy, amigo. I'm just pleased to see you. Yeah? Come on, baby. Give me some skin. Come on. What are you doing here? Well, you know, it's my father, uh... Hey, you know, my ancestors, we built the pyramids, baby. We built the ziggurats. <laughs> we invented math and shit. I'm here, I'm not afraid. I get my hands dirty. No, I can work. Whatever, man. How's it going? Oh, epic, homie. This shit is epic. People are babble about this shit in the future, baby. I'm talking luxury on a whole new level. This place is going to be so expensive, people won't even be able to afford it. <laughs> it's going to be drowned in gold. You know, it's like a, yo, yo, yo. Is that a diamond in your pocket? You just pleased to see me and shit. <laughs> Whoa, man. You know, the sales sheet's going to say, ah, the impossible dream. Priceless indulgence. Style by Yusuf Amir. Timeless classic. Timeless classic! Yeah, sounds perfect, man. Just what the people want right now. But what are you doing here? Psh. I'm crafting this whole thing with my bare hands. Okay, cool, man. Listen, it was good catching up with you, okay? I'll, I'll see you soon. Yeah, not so fast, homie. Yo, could you uh, give me a ride to my helicopter? I, I can tell you something along the way. But I thought you was busy building the pyramids. Yo, all work and no play makes use of a dull boy. Come on, baby, it'll be fun. Head out to the east side of the Algonquin Bridge, my dude. Says success in the business world like a slideshow. Nothing says I know what I'm talking about. The ability to yeah. break down. Like Yusuf, bro, hand over some more exploding shotgun shells. I love those things, man. What you after this time, man? I got you that tank thing in the chopper. What now? You want the Statue of Happiness for your backyard? Excellent idea, my friend. But that will have to wait. All right then. What we after? Wait for it. I'm waiting. You ready? Just fucking tell me, bro. A motherfucking subway train. Oh, yeah, baby. The prize of the fleet. The ass-fucking flagship of the LTA. Give it up. What you want a subway train for? We're taking that shit out to the Gulf for a new Liberty City theme development out there. Check this out. Genuine LTA submarine train. Get that shit going through a precious and elegant coral reef. Ah, perfect. Aside from how fucking dumb that sounds, how am I supposed to take that thing? Not going to be easy, dog. No one likes people fucking with their public transport in this paranoid age. Can't you just buy yourself a subway car, bro? No, man. Shit. We need the genuine article, the real deal. You think we could put the Amir name to anything but authentic shit? Yo, how am I supposed to pull this off? Okay, we just need the front car of the train. You jump on board, you climb to the front, and you unhook the car. I'll handle all the rest. Real simple, man. I don't know why I hang out with you, bro. Because you fucking love this shit, homie. Ain't nothing like rolling with this Arabic bad boy. That, and I'm going to put your clubs on the world stage. We'll have a lounge on the moon by the time we're done. For real. Yo, me. I can't believe I'm doing this. Believe it, baby. Pinch yourself. You ain't dreaming. This is no film. The city is our playground, homie. If it's our playground, how come I'm the only one getting dirty? Shit. I'm gonna look after you, you and Tony. Your problems, man, Yusuf can make them go away. You better be able to, bro, because you're about to owe me big time. Trying to irradiate your testes. Glad to have you on the show. Shoot. Yeah, I want to talk about global warming. Global warming is a real estate Here's the spot. Hmm, interesting. Get in position above the tracks, man. I'll see you soon.
Yo, D, there ain't been a disaster, has there? <laughs> Nothing like that. I'm just thinking you could put in some hours at the Masonette. Make sure we're running things to your exacting standards. I know you can handle it, bro. But if you want me there, I'll come by. Ah, Mr. Lewis. Hey, where's the one-man Ben? He's working. Oh, okay. Ray! Hey, Ray! Have company! Shut up! Don't tell me to shut up! So, I thought for some people, I know, that maybe you have some diamonds for sale. Not me, my boss, Tony. <laughs> oh, my other boss. Yeah, yeah. You got them from the fat cook. Ray! Huh? I'll stay as long as I like! You think you're a big man? Where's your house on Middle Park East? Where's your big sports team, huh? Shut up, you can't! <laughs> Shut up, you fucking can't! Hey, man, she okay? A big gun makes you a big man, huh? Your thingy was tiny, even before the wrestling coach make you take steroids. Mother always said she only had daughters. Ignore her, Luis. The diamonds. I, I gotta talk to Tony. You gotta talk to Daddy. I thought I was making you a real man, not a Rand boy. Well, I can't sell what ain't mine, bro. Plus, with all the work I put in for you, I don't really feel like a man yet. Okay. Son, man, son. I want you to cover to move back. It's going to talk to some people. I need you there. Okay, man, I got it. But you should chill out, bro. Let me decide when to chill out. Go! Yeah, what's up? I'm here. Ah, yeah, okay. You're in position. Do you see a box in front of you? Yeah. Open it. Have you opened it yet? No, give me a sec. No. Okay, I'm here. Do you recognize that? Man? Shit! I believe you parted with him in a diamond deal. Yo, what the fuck? Is this the guy we bought the ice from? You colluded with him to steal from me. Yo, we just got some rocks off him, okay? Look, listen. No, yo, listen. I offered you an opportunity, yet you were bludgeoned against me. 
Yo, I ain't no shit about those rocks. But I believe it doesn't matter. I will do everything in my considerable power to drive you and your faggot master from this earth. Goodbye. Oh, shit! Fucking great!
yourself into this shit! Bad jokes. And the secret scheme behind the penny in your pocket. These are some of the incredible deals revealed today. Can I live or what, officer? Luis, shit! I've been looking for you! Listen, Tony, I got something to talk to you about. You remember that Ray Bulgarian guy? That Russian gangster? You think he'd lend us the money we need to get out of this shit? He's bad news. I hate to be the voice of reason here, but I don't think we need that kind of stress in our lives. Oh, yeah, man. We already got it. I talked to him about some opportunities, and it turns out the diamonds we bought were stolen off him in the first place. He cut that cook's head off, man. Long story short, he wants us dead. Poor old chef. What were you doing talking to these guys without me, Lou? I'm sorry, man. I fucked up. Kind of refreshing, though, for me to be the one getting us in shit for once. Don't you think? Yeah, a real relief. You're about to get robbed, man. So stay cool. Don't put your hands on me, motherfucker. When this young lovely is pleasuring herself, I want you to burn your pubic hair off with a blowtorch. Blowtorch! No problem, Mr. S. Yeah, Brianna, you're a dirty girl, aren't you? Do you want to do things for me? Yes, Martin. I want to be so naughty for you. Well, then take your clothes off right now. Yeah, that's my line, you dumb twit. Is unscripted, innovative, groundbreaking radio. Well, then take your clothes off right now. Okay, Martin. Now I want you to give yourself a hysterectomy. Um. <laughs> what? Station, jump me out. Dump me. Yourself. Staying out of trouble, man? You better believe it, bro. Totally guilt-free. It's business, business, business with me. Yeah, why does that make me think you're about to ask me to do some dumb shit? Damn, what do you take me for? I'm a giver, not a taker. I don't need anything from you. I want to make a gift of my car to you. It's a special machine, but no, what you have done for me recently is more special. Thanks a lot, bro. You didn't need to do that, though. No, I did. Yeah, there's a little bit of fun for you in the glove compartment. I think you will enjoy it. All right, man. I'll check that out. Yeah, and thank you again. Of course you want me. I'm an attractive, hard-working everyman, but I'm also a humble genius. You want me, don't you, Lisa? Don't you? I want you, Mr. S. Aren't you supposed to be grooming and grooming with a blowtorch? Yes, sir, Mr. S. Oh, shit. <laughs> I want to get fined again, so my show appears to be edgy. Uh, I'm lesbians. Uh, Never gets boring having lesbians on the show. Why do they call me sexist and homophobic when I love lesbians? That's so true, Mark. Wow, they're smashing each other's faces, Mr. S. Tell me, Stacy. It is Stacy. Listen.
Listen, man, I told you. I didn't know shit about who won them diamonds. Then maybe you should have asked. Instead, you ran around the city making a fool of me. You and your second boss will be killed for this. I will do everything in my power shit. to... I think the scene was dropping, man. Later, bro. Show, Mr. S. <laughs> On the October page, here she is tending to the elderly in a hospice by servicing the dying men. Oh, fantastic. Mark Brooks, our dull general manager. Oh, hi, Martin. Sorry to interrupt the show. Yeah, the, the, the contest next week, it got canceled. Are you kidding me? Well, we did it last year, no problem. How am I supposed to do a shock <laughs> jock show when you suits keep bringing me down? Yeah, really. What makes this thing? A lot of money. I know, but you guys are out of control. Yeah, and we were raising money for leprosy. That's right. Listen, we're gonna do it anyway. We already have some contestants entered. Next week is the official third trimester triathlon. If you're pregnant in your third trimester and you can finish your triathlon without entering prematurely. Luis, hello, my friend. Uh, did you like the car? Uh, did you like the other gift? The gun? Fuck me, bro. Solid gold. <laughs> All is the best for you, Luis. It makes a statement, doesn't it? Shit, it sure does. Thanks a lot, Yusuf. We are brothers. It is nothing. I've got three more myself. <laughs> See you soon, my friend. Yo, T. Where have you been? I got here as soon as I could, bro. Oh, man, Louise Gracie. Louise Gracie. What about Gracie? They got Gracie. She's gone. Evan's dead. Hell, Gracie. Fuck Evan. Who's got Gracie? I, I don't know. So what are you talking about, bro? Where is she? I, I, some guy's at war with her father, I guess. I don't know. Hey, Gracie's pretty tough. She's a princess. She's a tough princess. They fucking hurt her. Yeah, they'll have you, me, and my family to deal with. You never liked her. You never did. You never liked anyone. That's not true. I like her. No, you didn't. She's my favorite go -Kor. Oh, and what makes you so good, huh? If it wasn't for me, you'd be selling dime bags on a street corner. I made you. Yeah, and she and Evan made you into a junkie, okay? I mean, she's not a bad person. Okay, she's not a murdering, greedy psychopath like me. She's so hard. I don't know if you can get past the accent, okay? But she made you into a useless old queen to act out on blowing pills to notice his business is going to shit. Oh, here we go, huh? Here we fucking go, huh? Oh, I see it in your eyes. You're embarrassing me. You see me and think, oh, this is it. This is the moment to put me down. This is the moment when the apprentice takes over, huh? Oh, man. You think I'm done? You're not so fucking tough, Luis. And you're not so smart, you dumb junkie. Well, fuck. Yeah, fuck you, Luis. Oh, come on, Tony. Chill out. Oh. Oh, no, you're right. You're right. You're not the one with the problem. I am. <laughs> Tony, what the fuck are you doing? No, I'm holding you back. I see that now. I see that now. The closest thing I've had to a son. I'm sorry, Luis. I love you. Tony. Goodbye! Tony, c c come on, man. Goodbye! I love you! Shit! Shit! Fuck! <laughs> ah! <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you, uh, you dumb prick? Huh? Get up! Get uh, up so uh, I can kill you myself! Get up! Uh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I, sh I just couldn't take it anymore. Uh, come on. Get up. Uh, Get up, you old uh, bastard. Oh. Huh? Scream. Let's go find Gracie, okay? Okay. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit, Luis. We should go and get the Ancelotti's chopper. It's just on the other side of the booth tunnel. General Hospital already. You're drunk, and we've got to save some kids' lives. That's because I love you, Karen. What are we gonna do with a chopper? What do you think we're doing on this outing? We're looking for Gracie. You got any ideas where we might start doing that? It's a big city, though. I may be semi-suicidal, but I'm not completely stupid, Luis. You ain't even semi-suicidal, T. You're just overdramatic. I wouldn't be surprised if that gun was just a movie prop. We've been in enough shit recently for me to carry something a little bit more dangerous than a prop gun. You think you'd know enough with all the shit we've been in to take the safety off our gun before you use it? Fair point. I'll get a post-it note for the next time. Disengage before a suicide attempt. Self-indulgent cry for help, you mean? Okay. I need your help, Luis. You're all I've got left. You happy now? I said it. Well done. You win, jackass. Okay, bro. Where are we looking for this girl, then? There's some lowlifes and dukes who might be involved. Losers even by current mob standards, which is saying something. 
You from Dukes, ain't you? I try to forget about that. Okay. So we head over there and do what? Land on the roof and ask them where they got Gracie? We've just got to follow them. See if they take us anywhere interesting. Okay, bro. Let's hope for the best. Who knows what they could have done to that girl? She could be dead at the bottom of the West River now. Or she could be driving some son of a bitch kidnapper, Gracie. I wouldn't waste that nasal whining voice on the worst guy out there. Gracie's got my backing over some chump hoof from Dukes. You're right. That could be the smart bet. Our old man said something interesting to me, by the way. Oh, yeah? What'd he say? That he's blaming us for this whole thing. Either we get her back, or we're dead. That's definitely interesting. How the fuck did he get that in his head? I barely know the girl. It's the diamonds, Lou. Rocco's had a word with him. For the fucking Guido hair gel, cabron. Shit! I just got forward a photo of Gracie from the kidnappers. The girl does not look good. Hey, who knows? Bound and gag might be the look for Guido Slust next season. This is where they keep the chopper. Come on, hurry up, man. A difficult time at new recession prices. And maybe then, hold on. The is place we're going? checking out is over in Cerveza Heights. I love you, you old goat. Seriously, when I, when I die, I want nothing more than your hand up my ass and your straw sucking the brain out so, of So, this isn't about Gracie? It's about saving our own asses? Yes, this is a purely selfish act. Are you happy now? Yeah, strangely I am. Now that I've realized I'm being blackmailed into doing this, it's become a lot clearer. Great. How are we gonna get out of this, Tom? What? All this shit piling down on top of us. How are we gonna get out? Have we got a plan? I don't know. We could play the lottery, start a little Ponzi scheme, buy some cheap diamonds and try to sell them at a profit. Oh, wait. We've tried that, and it's not going so well. Fair enough. You could marry a billionaires. That might get us out of our problems. Oh, yeah. I've already been pimped off once, T. And I nearly got killed because of it. I'm serious, Lou. Most of the girls in the city have fallen in love with you at least once. How come you can't manage to find a rich one? Because I ain't like that. I wish I had your principles, genius. At least you'll have a nice message on your gravestone. Mine'll just say, here lies unpopular fag. What the fuck's gone into you? I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm stressed, all right? Aren't we all? That's the house up there. for a slice of pie. Shit! Okay, okay, I take your point. If you see him stopping, let me know. You'll see him stopping too, bro. You ain't going to sleep on me, are you? You think I can go to sleep at a moment like this? Why? You ain't got your pills? No, I don't actually. I didn't even take an anti-anxiety, and you know how I feel about flying. You'll throw a guy out of chopper, but you won't go for a ride in one? You should have shared your anti-anxiety pills with the celebrinator. No amount of pills would prepare you for that. Don't fuck with the Thorny Prince Empire, baby. That's what's up. Public relations at its finest. If we could throw every fucking blogger out of chopper, bro, keep them fools in line. We could start an outsourcing company. We'd be rich overnight. Strangely enough, that's exactly what we need to be. Stop driving suspiciously, Lou. They'll get wise to us. Get wise? What are we, in some gumshoe novel now? I'm driving as unsuspiciously as you can when your boss only forked out for a weekend helicopter course. If he's getting wise, it's because you're a tight ass. You being anti-Semitic now? Nice. Next you'll call me a fag. Oh, yeah. Play the minority car. Very clever. Unfortunately, I'm a minority too, so fuck you. He's cutting back on himself. I thought he was heading west. Well, now he's heading east. We won't lose him, man. We're cool. Come on, you dumb dukes fuck. Take us to her. You yell loud enough, he might just hear you. Maybe if we concentrate hard enough, we can will him to go there. I thought you got over that spiritual shit when you stopped dating the yoga instructor. There are things that stick with you forever. Like the fact that he could get his ankles around his ears and he ate a lot of monk beans. That image is gonna stick with me. Jesus. Where are these guys from? Other than Dukes, I mean. 
They're an Irish operation headed by this maniac called Gerald McCreary. He's doing time at Alderney State. Irish like those guys who robbed our bank? They could be the same ones that held me hostage. Stranger things have happened. What would they need a mob boss's daughter for when they got all the bank's money? How the fuck do I know? I guess greed is a powerful motivator. I got an idea. Great. What is it? We stop that bus car, we rig his balls to the battery. By the time he smells them crooking, we'll know exactly where Gracie's at. This is a great bit of improvisation, Lou. But I think we should just follow him. Leave the torch to professionals, people in government. Look, he's going through the booth tunnel. I ain't going in there, T. You think I want you to kill us? Go over and meet him where he comes out. Over by where we pick this shopper up. Okay, boss. second anyone expressed interest in that thing. Actually, wait, I can see you driving a pink car, T. Why? Because people call me gay, Tony? In that case, you probably think I've got massive sculptures of cocks in my apartment as well. Gay guys love that shit, you cliche-loving moron. There was that one marble thing you bought. That was art. Yeah, giant, veiny, penis-shaped art. At least you made a profit on it. Those were the days. What's he been doing driving anywhere? We give him a moment and call it in if it feels weird. Okay, okay. Why does everything feel weird to me? Because you owe money to half the city and the other half wants you dead. Paranoia is advising our situation. Do you know that we can trace our DNA back to one couple? Uh, do you know what That's him, isn't it? He better fucking take us back to Gracie now. Sacramento. Call it in. Let's head back to the helipad. Look, look on. I got an email alert from what people write about me on the internet. Uh, this one calls me a... You're gonna call him? I'm texting. Look at you, bro. What? Down with the kids. You work in the business, Lou. You should know that club promoters are the first to master all new forms of communication. Always find a new way of profiting. If we pull this off, we'll profit. We'll get to keep our spinal cords. Great. I like my spinal cord, bro. It would be a fucking shame to lose it. Uh, did you know a secret society runs on government? Okay, man. Let me know if they find Gracie. I hope for our sake they do. See you soon, partner.
Georgie, but, but with girls. With girls, right, Georgie? Girls, yeah. Yeah, we're not gay, are we, Georgie? No. No. That's what I wanted to see in this picture. Look at this. You've given me man tits. I draw what I see. Man titties. Uh, screw you and your crappy drawing. I'm not tearing this up. Look at that. You both bastards. Come back here. Let's take a quick break. Come on, Georgie. Mm. But trust me, that wasn't my intention. You fucked with me! And now, I'm going to fuck with you! You little cunt! You are dead! 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 You understand? No. Could you say it again, please? Fuck you! I'm still not getting it. What about a third time? Cunt! Bye. Thank you. 
Hello. Hola, Borico. Rocco, how'd you get my fucking number? I don't want to talk to you. Too bad, Mick. This line opened up just as soon as Tony took those points. You know, Rock, your guinea ass is lower down this country's ethnic food chain than mine. So don't fucking condescend me. Oh, I got Senora Sensitive here. Hey, look, I respect you, so I'm going to talk straight a second. Tony's pissed a lot of people off. You need to control him. Tony's going to calm down? as soon as you stop sending us on suicide missions. Oh, look at my position. Some serious moolayos. You think the higher powers are gonna stop expecting envelopes from me because of the homo's midlife crisis? Doctor's notes don't cut it with these people. Be reasonable then, Rock. Chinatown? Bahama Mamas? Those fucking bombs? That's some out of control shit, man. No, Tony's some out of control shit. Think about what he has got you into. But if you think about it too long, then there might be no getting out of it. Comprende? Not really, bro. Goodbye. How's it feel to slum it, bro? You're driving around two low rate pushers. That's some Vinewood slut. Damn it, let's do this. And then, and then yeah, bro. We hitting these motherfuckers where it hurts. Where's that? The motherfucking stash, bro. We taking that shit out. And we making money. Oh, it's on Raven if you like. Oh, this is incredible radio. Extreme. It's a proper pissing match. Yeah, leave the jokes to me, Smithy. Go fill your belly button with molten lead. Okay. Shit and more shit. Okay, ready for it. I hate to be the one that breaks up the party, but that's my job. We've got a feminist on now. She wrote a book about sex and the media. I love it. I invented it. Sex and the media. The media. Here she is, Professor Dorothy Williams. Oh, just like I guess you're really ugly. Excuse me. We got the shit on board, man. Let's get out of here. Nobody can touch us, man. Apart from every hood in this city and the police, I guess you're right. Man, you are such a downer. 
And you're like a cliché from a bad hoof lick, you fool. For the Martin Sirius show, The Horn. The Horn is not a date rate drug. In 100 yards, turn right. This is no every day is like that, John. We're not on the air anymore. John, you made me leave my house. You're wearing body armor. Come on, you gotta get out. I have my hand in the sand. I'm so I. I'm sorry. Leaving the house without your body armor. Yeah, don't be dancing like that in this 
appears to have escaped by means of a daring base jump into the street, but exact details are slow to emerge. What is clear is that this is a serious blow for the hockey team, who lost their controversial owner and are plagued with rival claims over ownership of the franchise, as well as documented hostile takeover attempts. The Rampage are now likely to be the subject of a series of court cases, as Mr. Ashville's complex business affairs are untangled by the state. Mike Whiteley, Weasel News. Okay, if we walk in confident, we have a good time. <laughs> okay. Hey, you on the list? Yeah. No. Yes. yes. Then you're not coming in. Oh, oh, wait a minute, man. We're relatively important people. We're going in, bro. I don't give a fuck who you think you are. You're not coming in. Come on, man. I I'm a VIP. We, we come here all the time. Hey, Des. Hey, man. Going in? I ain't seen him. Hey, man. Luis. Bro, can you get us in? Hey, Brucey. Yeah, sure. Uh, Desi, take care of them. Thanks, man! Keep it cool, keep it cool. Man, I'm no, going no, to no, see no, some vagina no, tonight! You walked in with one, bro. What? Never mind, man. Hey! So I'm going to go get the drinks! Okay! Good seeing you guys, man. I gotta take care of something. Hey, wait, listen, can I just say something, man? Listen, can I just say the way you dealt with Bori, man? I was really great for that. Hey, uh, don't mention it, man. Unless you want me to kill him. Maybe. Hey, listen, you know, you're a shit like me. That's right, you're like a, a lone wolf. An adventure. Tough butt. With a sense of the Not really, bro. I like killing for money. Yes, yes, I know, but that's just your thing. Ugh. You know. What's your problem, man? Nothing! I didn't mean nothing by it. I'm not gay. It's cool, man. Just don't do it again, man. Hey, look, I fucked three girls last night, man. One of them can't even walk. I mean, now. If she could walk before, she didn't need a wheelchair or anything. Look, I was just checking to make sure you weren't gay, bro. Yo, not a problem, man. I, I gotta go. Hey, listen. Hey, Luis. Come on, man. We gotta go. Let's go. Alright, man. Peace out, bro! Thank God you showed up, bro. What? I never thought seeing you would make things feel more heterosexual. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that, sweetheart. Yeah, it's probably best. We're heading over to Fish Market South. But then the conservative... Exciting no! happened to the community. Those immigrant kids are playing in front of the house. What's happening, thing? We're getting Gracie back. She's coming home. You mean taking her back? Or this gonna be tranquilo? God, I hope so. They're getting the diamonds for her, so they better behave. Shit, wait a second. Slow up, man. What have the diamonds got to do with Gracie? What the fuck have we got to do with Gracie? 
So the old man be handling this? Apparently the kidnappers have asked for these rocks, and we aren't being given much of a choice about it, if you catch my meaning. Oh, great. Angry mobsters, kidnappers, maniacs. Sounds like another fun day. Bloody shootout at the offices of controversial Liberty City Rampage owner Marky Ashvilly. Mr. Ashvilly, who had constantly denied links to organized crime, was left dead along with several of his employees after a violent clash. The assailant appears to have escaped by means of a daring base jump into the street, but exact details are slow to emerge. What is clear is that this is a serious blow for the hockey team, who lost their controversial owner and are plagued with rival claims over ownership of the franchise, as well as documented hostile takeover attempts. The Rampage are now likely to be the subject of a series of court cases, as Mr. Ashvilly's complex business affairs are untangled by the state. Mike Whiteley, Weasel News. Politicians are crowing. The recession is over. And the champagne is flowing in Washington as they announce the recession has officially ended. It's all in your mind. The president stated indicating that only you can hold yourself back. Exchange is on Charge Island. They're calm by land. We're on the water. Tony, man. He's diamonds. What about them? Yo, man. Maybe we got his claiming ownership. He's got some serious resources. Maybe we should think about handing them over to him. We got two options, Lou. Either we give them to the Russian, and Ancelotti kills us, or we give them over to the kidnappers. Crazy lives, or we take our chances with the Russian. All right, man. Sounds like you got everything figured out. I got nothing figured out. Half the city wants to kill me, but they'll be lucky if they can get a chance before I die of a heart attack. Easy, Tom. Last chance, D. So you want to hand this stuff over? Sure, I'm sure. Father's gonna kill us if we don't. Yeah, it makes it nice and simple. <laughs> yeah, lends a lot of clarity to my thinking. <laughs> Gracie, you all right? Yeah. Bastards didn't hurt you, did they? She can't speak. We got a gag in her mouth. Give her back, you animals. She suffered enough. Hand over the stuff. Hand over Gracie. I'm here for you, sweetie. Hand over the fucking stuff. All right, calm down, both of you. Oh, yeah. We put the ice in the middle. We walk back. Then you send over the girl. We leave, and you pick up the stuff. Entiende? Sure. Show us the goods. Come back to me, honey. Let her go. Go! Fuck! Bye! 
Missy! Fucking chomp off our boat! Hey, I'm trying, okay? Tony, you're fucking pathetic! Get the motherfucker off our boat! He let go. Now turn around and get those assholes who kidnapped me, pussy! Go back and kill them! Grace, you're gonna have to set the fuck up right now. We don't need to be doing this for you. You're a fucking joke! You and that old queen are gonna be done here! Hey there, muscles! No need to hit a lady! She don't got a mouth like a lady, Tom. And the way she was acting, she was gonna get us killed. I should have given her some pills, but oops! Ah, I took them all! <laughs> Sleep it off, man. these things, right? Cabinet. You got Gracie back safe and sound, Tom. I hope she was worth two mil. You hit her, right? She had a boating accident. Make sure her old man understands that. I don't want to see her again. Okay, sailor. So long. Yusuf, hey man. What's up, Luis? Things is good? No, man. They're a long way from good. Well, how much you need? How much money you want me to throw at this problem for you? Yusuf don't like his main dude unhappy. Guys ain't gonna fix this problem, okay? We got a crazy Russian after us, and we ain't some deep shit with some Cosa Nostra morons. The Mafia? I've had problems with some union fucks on the site. Sometimes that shit just goes away. Hey, this ain't going, man. And there's nothing you can do. Me and Tony gotta find some way to dig ourselves out. Don't be too proud, Luis. You ever need something, you call Yusuf, okay? See you around, bro. You wanna feel shitty? You buy a newspaper. It is the real problem is the next ice age, which will come in about three years. They're using global warming as a tool to frighten people into accepting extreme weather. Boom! Thin ice everywhere, and sled dogs suddenly cost as much as cars. It's a trick by people in the pet industry to finally take down the American automobile industry. Yeah, well, I never liked dogs anyway. I don't blame you. Now, now let's go to Mrs. X. This is a robbery. Don't. It's fuck. Luke, have you heard? That our lives are falling apart? No. Yes. No, but sort of. The city's closed down the clubs. You serious? Motherfuckers. All this fucking bullshit, and we forgot to pay off the Citadel. Shit, B. Eh? Maybe this is a good thing. At least we can concentrate on getting off every gangster's hit list. We better do it quick. There's no more money coming in. It's only gonna get worse for us. Fuck me, I need some blow.
Hey, bro. Good to see you guys, man. You got a license for this shit, right? There ain't no way we can fuck this up, bro. Guys have a car all packed up with shit, and it ain't even on the move yet. We just picking up a stationary vehicle. How long you been in this game, man? What you mean there's no way it can fuck up? There's always a way, especially when you're involved. You're such a sad cynic, bro. Don't you ever get tired of that shit? No, actually, I don't. Not when it improves my chances of surviving a dope run with you. I mean, I don't know any blacks or Jews or women, and I've never met one, and you know what? We meant to go up here. I can't stand the people who are like me. So imagine how much I'd hate people who aren't like me. Hello? Hello? Are you there? Are, can you hear me? Where are these boys at? I was looking forward to a fight. Let's get this shit out of here while we can. Psycho! <laughs> Thanks, bro. That means a lot. We wouldn't be getting paid like this if you weren't here, bro. Until next time, bros. Yeah, mommy. you possibly have to say that I'd want to hear, Rock? Time to face the facts, Jack. Frankly, you're fucked. There's a rich Russian having a powwow with the old man about you and the fag. FYI, they ain't talking about handing you a special commendation. Well, what the fuck are me and Tho supposed to do about that? Let's leave the homo out of this for a minute. Me, me and Uncle Vincenzo in the public toilets in Middle Park. We gotta talk in person. Why the fuck do you do this, Lopez? But it's also groundbreaking entertainment for which 
will probably win an award. You're really a genius. Mr. S, do you want me to kill one of the porn stars like last time? That was a ratings bonanza. Bonanza, wow. Grass, look at those covered in stretch marks. Looks like watermelon's about to explode. Uh, just a reminder, next week, if management doesn't shut it down, we'll have our annual circle jerking contest. No real fool! of the time on air talking about the show rather than actually putting one on. Smithy, oh, tell them damn. how they can get their tot stickers. Yes, my car! I should be suing you! Take out your twat Tuesdays and Thursdays. When you put the tot sticker on your car and women see the tot sticker while they're driving, they'll mush those nasty meat curtains against the window. Oh, goodness. Unbelievable. <laughs> That's outrageous, but also liberated and true. Go to the phones, take it. I told him that shit would never have happened back in the day. <laughs> What's up, ladies? Still living the high life, I see. Fuck you. What you doing here, cruising? That's very funny. <laughs> you know, Mr. Ancelotti's still blaming all that diamond shit for Gracie's kidnap? Well, you did bring the heat down on the club, so I can understand why they blame you. Yeah, and those chinks, they're still fucking pissed at that dispute of ours. Again, fair enough. Whatever, it don't matter, right? What matters is the Russian has come to Mr. Ancelotti and said he wants the head of anyone involved with the diamonds. Now, on top of all that Gracie and Chink shit, the old man is pissed. He <laughs> wants blood. I think we can cut a deal. We give him one body, all right? So basically, it's you or Tony. One of you has to die. Me and Vince would prefer to work with you and the clubs over the faggot, so you're lucky. You kill Tony. You get to keep the clubs. You and us together, partners. Either that, or the Russian is gonna send some serious people round to whack you and the fag with Ancelotti's sanction. Yeah, you'll both get whacked. <laughs> you're way out of your league, kid. And you, you're a fucking loser hanging out with children living a fantasy life. I ain't killing Tony, but I may be about to kill you two fucks, though. Then you're a dead man. You and your family and those spick drug dealers you hang out with, you're all dead. It's your choice. It ain't our fault. Fuck you. Think about it. I'll be in touch, you fucking spick. shit that might be about to happen in there. Okay, boss, I'll be in the security room if you need me. Oh! There he is. Thank God you got here, Luis. These, these fucking guys. Talk to them. 
Tell him we can figure it out. It ain't that simple, Tom. Sure it is. We got money coming. We can expand, refurb, rebrand. I'm an earner. I'm a survivor. I've been in this game since 1987. Ouch. The terrible irony. You better tell him. Tony, man. What? Things are kind of fucked, man. These guys, man. These fucking guys. You never should have brought them in, man. Now somebody's got it. You know. The mix is with us now. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Times change, Tony. Your brand of charming homosexuality, it's kind of run out of steam. Someone has to pay for what's gone down. Do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. After all we've been through, Lou! I'm sorry, T. You... You was family, man. But it's either you or all of us. The Russians are coming, man. We don't got time for this gay shit. Fucking pop them already. You fucking moron! Hey, I had second thoughts, man. You fucking killed yourself just then. The Russians, fucking everyone, they're coming after you. The old man, you're fucking dead. The both of you, they're coming any second and they're expecting corpses. We better not disappoint then. Ah, keep your head, Lou. He's a made guy. Fuck him. All right, get out of here, Rocco. This is for the old man and that's it. You're a dead man, taco. Get out of my club, you fucking mook. You sure that was smart? You sure not shoot me was smart? I don't think so. Uh, all right, if we're gonna operate, we're gonna need some, some goodwill here. What now? I don't know. Didn't he say the Russians are coming? Doesn't <laughs> stop, does it? <laughs> Didn't give us a second, did they? Shit! Joking more of these bastards. Rocco <laughs> wasn't bullshitting about the Russian hit squad. Must have been the first time in his life he wasn't talking shit. Perfect war goons to ruin my club. Where's 
see when we need him! Yes, that you? Run! For God's sake, run while you still can! More of them are arriving outside. Then we're gonna have to go meet them, boss. It's gotta end sometime. Man, what the fuck? We got through it. We beat them. Who'd we beat? A couple of goons? The guys who wanted us dead are still out there. I'm done. I'm packing up and I'm leaving town. I'm heading to a spa town in the desert. It's been nice knowing you. Don't be stupid, T. T, please, don't be stupid. I'll just come find you. Shit. <laughs> Find out who the ringleader is and perform oral sex on him. It worked 
for me in the Philippines. Now, look, John, I have traveled the world, except for Australia. That place is fucked. Uh, there are a lot of people that hate Americans uh, for no reason. But all we try to do is help them and bring them democracy and bean machine coffee shops for their main streets. You know, it is a very scary world we live in, and I, I want to make sure that kids understand the essentials of survival. You know, how to find water, how to pick locks, how to hack into a club. Hey. Ugh. Fuck off, Luis. Ay, Dios mío, have we been through this already? Been through the fact that you wanted to kill me? Been through the fact that you're far from alone that desire? This is over. It's over. I just want to go someplace far away from here and quietly wait to die. I lived it. I lived it hard, and now I'm ready to end it. Oh, shut up, you hysterical fucking queen. Get a grip, bro. Oh, yes. Silly me. <laughs> Silly fucking me. <laughs> the Russian mob want me dead. My best friend just contemplated murdering me. The mob are on my case. I'm massively in debt, and, and I just lost $2 million worth of diamonds. Any other man would just dust himself off and carry on. Look, uh, OK, I'm sorry I thought about killing you. I really am. But if you keep up with the bullshit, I might have to kill you for real. Fuck off, Luis! No, you fuck off, Tony. I didn't kill you. I wanted to. Why? Because you've become a useless junkie fuck. That's why. But I did it. And now, it's you and me against the world, okay? And if your brains ain't working right, then I'll make the decision for us, okay? It's Bulgari or us. Or you can shoot us both and make his life easy for him. Well, you're kind of clever, aren't you? I only hired you because I thought you were dumb. Yeah, thank you very much. You're welcome very much. Are you coming now? Yes, I'm coming now. Well, let's go, come on. ...is that he's taking on a big heroin ship at Funland on Firefly Island. Him, what are we gonna do then? We're gonna take out their income stream, and then we're gonna take them out. End this bullshit. Okay, I'm armed, I'm dangerous, let's fucking do this! Come on, T, give me a break. What? We're in this together! Tony, bro, I love you, but I shall handle this alone. I don't want you getting yourself killed. Then you're gonna have to punch me out again, Lou. Don't make me, man. You know you're just gonna slow me down, bro, and kill us both. I want at least one of us to survive. Lou? Look, T, don't go home. Don't go to the clubs. Don't go nowhere anyone might conceivably think to look for you. There aren't many places like that left in the city, I'm afraid. Come on. Where do you think you can hide that no one would expect? I have no fucking clue. Uh, Dukes? I ran away from there when I was a kid, and I swore blind I'd never go back, apart from to catch a plane. OK, cool. Hit up, like, uh, that Bonneville Monument thing in Meadows Park. Hang out for a few hours. If I survive this shit, I'll find you. If I don't show, then I'm gone. Move to Brazil. Move somewhere. Don't never look back, T. I thought I was the annoying drama queen in this pairing. I'm serious, T. This is my last testament. Yo, send some money to my mom sometimes. Tell her I love her. Okay, Lou, shit. You'll be fine. Shit. No one in this whole crazy town is crazy enough to take you down. Now we own junk trade in Liberty. Anyone need package, they must deal with us. Where's my guy? We got a score to settle. I ain't letting you make no profit.
on the other side. Focus! Run for the cover! Don't fucking move, yo! I can't talk, bro. Shit's really coming apart. What do you mean? Let me help you out. There ain't nothing you can do, Houston. If this crazy Russian fuck manages to leave the country, it's over for me at all. I gotta get down the Deuce Expressway without any number of Russian assassins taking me down. Or we're done. Why am I even saying this? Wish me luck, bro.
down, bro.
make a U-turn where safe. Please proceed to highlighted route. Calculating route. Sorry, Pops. Oh, come on, get up. Get up. Oh. You okay? Yeah, thanks. Take care of yourself, okay? Stay away from idiots like me. Fuck you. You always have to make a scene, don't you? Yeah, I know. It's a real problem with me, you know? I wish I was more like you. Subtle, shy, retiring. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> oh, boy. I used to play around here when I was a kid, dreaming of the world, wondering what it was like at that place over there or that little island over there. You ever go there, T? Nah, went to Algonquin instead, waiting for the world to come to me. You did it, man. You did it. You, you saved my life. You, you saved the business. You, you fucking did it. Hey, man, I did what I could, bro. I'm proud of you, man. Thank you. But I don't want you to get a big head. I don't want you to go uh, change, become a megastar, go to Vinewood, write a blog. Oh. <laughs> You're a pill-popping old queen, man. I'm a murdering maniac. But we survived, bro. We survived. We did more than survive, amigo. We prospered. We took on this town and we won. We took on this place and we gave it the fucking finger. Fuck you all! I don't care what people say. Tony Prince and Luis Lopez could not be stopped. Huh? Oh, jeez, who's this? What's up, my niggas? Oh, did he just say that? Uh, yeah, hey, man. You fucking made it. Man, that was some serious gangster shit. Shoot, shoot, shoot him up. I said shoot, shoot, shoot him up. <laughs> Yo, T, T, give me a hug, give me a hug. Not too close, though. I don't want to give my father the wrong impression. Ah, Luis, I love you, man. I love you! I love you, too. I love everyone! Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, by the way, I think my father may be into franchising clubs. <laughs> I know. Franchise is not the way to go. The, the club is all about the people. Fuck the people! Fuck them all! We pat your dick and piss all over them! <laughs> You're gonna go a long way in hospitality, my friend. Attempt of the day is always brought to you by Al Dente's. All the mamma mia 
you can eat. Is anyone safe? Even our politicians are now under attack. He's the former Secretary of Security Enforcement, but Bobby Jefferson's motorcade was attacked while making its way from Grand Eastern Terminal to the Civic Citadel, where Mr. Jefferson had long been scheduled to give a speech about organized crime. Courageously, Mr. Jefferson took to the stage after the attack and delivered the speech. The mayor vowed to make these new forms of organized crime a priority. Mr. Jefferson's speech was not a xenophobic rant. He praised hardworking immigrants, particularly one nameless man who ensured that he could deliver his speech. At the Civic Citadel, I'm Jenny Acorn, Weasel News. The war on fun is being won. And I thought you all did.